I survived 100 days in Mineshafts and Monsters in Hardcore Minecraft. Mineshafts and Monsters is a mod pack that adds, well, a lot of Mineshafts and Monsters to the game. In order to progress, you have to complete different quests, defeat bosses, and build your own colony. And trust me, it is not easy trying to handle fighting monsters and building a new civilization at the same time. This 100 days, it was, uh, whew, it was insane to create. So if you enjoy, consider subscribing and leaving a like. It really helps out. And without further ado, everybody, relax, grab your favorite snacks, and enjoy as I try to survive 100 days in mine shafts and monsters in hardcore Minecraft. Okay, 100 days in mine shafts and monsters. This is not an easy one. Right off the bat, I only have eight hearts instead of 10, which I mean, uh, that's not great. We also have some starting gear, which is nice. And we actually have a good amount of arrows. And there is a built-in quest system in this mod pack. So if we collect that, that'll get it started. But we only discover more of the quest chain as we actually do more in the mod pack. So we'll figure out more as we play more. Yeah, this mod pack's insane. Oh. And there is our first quest. You hear a gentle voice guiding your path. Find and slay a pillager. Now, I am familiar with this uh, wizardry type of tower, and it does have some free loot for us, which is nice. Now, where we have the problem is here. You gotta remember to break this TNT. Other than that, though, look at that. Whoa, plus 6.42 cold damage and seven attack. This has like 13.42 attack damage. That's an insane diamond sword to get. Wow, that's actually really good. Um, we also have some enchantments here. Reactive allows projectiles to pierce through mobs. Thank you very much. And ooh, we got a few more things this way. Oh, hello. Ow. Um, anyways, what I was saying is villagers are not very friendly in the beginning. In fact, uh, if you run into guards, they can attack you. So we'll need to build up the reputation by uh, defeating pillagers and, and things like that. Also, look at this. We got a set of iron armor, basically. I just gained a heart. That's nice. Let's check what is inside here. I've got an iron helmet. Hey, what? Okay, there we go. I don't know what that sound is. Here's a pickaxe, unbreaking and acquisition. Hole in there as well. Oh, that's what I was hearing. It's a goblin. We got it though. I'm actually uh, kind of liking this little structure that we've found. It's pretty hard to find good places to set up in in this pack. Maybe we can uh, put some items in here for now. And if we want to move to a larger structure later on, we can definitely do that. It would be nice to get my other base tools. So let's collect wood and stone. And there's a lot of iron here, which I'll take. And as you'll notice, there is a mining skill or really skills for anything in this pack. So we can level those up as we play. Anyways, that should be enough materials to create all of the tools that I wanted. Okay, very nice. There's a lot of random things that can kill you. This sword is insane though. Like this was a really good find. Ooh. And I just unlocked a trinket. You can step one block height without the needs of jumping. That's really good, actually. Oh boy, here we go. A dual wielding skeleton. Oh man, a creepy looking mob. Oh, it dropped coins though. That's good. There we go. I really do not feel safe. No, it's actually broken the amount of iron that I'm finding. I don't even need anymore. I have like a stack and a half. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Oh, yay. Yeah, I'm about getting to the point where I've had enough of adventuring underground. I reckon it's a good time to head back up. Hopefully safely. Okay, up we go, up we go. Hello. Oh, it's nighttime. Okay. Let's sleep that off. Oh, I don't have a bed. Okay. Oh, that's scary. What is that, dude? Some kind of a golem thing. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is very bad. Oh, my God. I'm getting poisoned. I think I need to make a hidey hole. Oh, dude. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god, dude. <gasps> Close that door. Nighttime is actually insane. Wow. Remind me to absolutely never let it be nighttime. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm 
taking a bed with me. Oh, I didn't even notice. Hold on. There appears to be an addict to this house. I should probably light this up just in case. Iron shovel with efficiency two. Magic protection one, chain mail boots, iron, saddle. That's good. Lava bucket. Also some food, which I actually need. Okay, so we still have to complete the quest of defeating a pillager. That's her first thing to do, but I'm not sure if I'm able to do that quite yet. So I can kind of head out and try to find some pillagers that are vulnerable, maybe. It's very possible that there could still be something waiting for us out here. Yeah, like, look at that, dude. Gotcha. Well, let's adventure again and uh, hopefully have some luck with finding some important things. Oh, and look at that. Trees fall when you mine them. That's kind of nice. Gotta be careful in water because of the gods cursing you. Oh my god. What did I just hear? Oh my god. What is this? It's like a parasite? Like, what's going on? I don't know, dude. I don't want to know. We got something over here. Oh, yeah, this is a dungeon tower. I wouldn't mind heading into the first part of this, just because these tend to actually have some pretty good loot. Here's a chest, apple, torches, iron. Yeah, some basics. Oh, my God. Yeah, here we go. That's what I was talking about. Okay. Yeah, this is like a boss. Norman the Rough. As long as nothing sneaks up from behind, I should be okay. These guys are really good because they give you the best loot. Oh, yeah. There we go. We got him. Diamond armor saves lives. Saying apotheotic boss. Okay, so we got a diamond item probably. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And we got a diamond axe, which is just about broken. Whoa. Look at that saber wing. Built for a long lost champion. Feels right in the hands of those who seek justice. It's doing something. <gasps> Regeneration? Wait, that's not what I want to use on enemy mobs. Oh, here we go. The green menace. Poison cloud and ricochet. Okay, that's better. Yeah, see, this is definitely the type of loot that we really need if we want to move up into defeating pillagers more easily. Warp scroll. What did I just hear? Dude, what? Dude, why is this like a horror game, man? Where is this boss? It's nighttime. Okay, hold on. Let me sleep off the night. Where is this thing? No, nope, doesn't seem like it's above ground. Did it despawn? Okay, well, I don't know where it went. Anyways, let's not get destroyed by some random boss. How about that? Okay, let's see. We got the staircase to the next floor here. And we got a spawner, which, yeah, I can't break spawners. Hello. Just a bunch of blocks. That's nice. Yeah, the first floor typically doesn't have the best loot. So I'm really not getting crazy loot from here. And I think uh, we should just head out. Okie dokie, out of there. Maybe I'll quickly head home to drop off our loot. What is this? Is this like a radish? Purple turnip. Oh, let's eat a purple turnip. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we're back home. Let's drop all of this stuff off. Also, let's set this warp scroll. There we go. And now we can use that to warp back home. Okay, now let us try to find some illagers to defeat. Here we got another wizard tower. I don't think I've looted this one. Oh, yeah. Break the TNT. And your shots have a 32% chance to fire a spectral arrow. Interesting. Ooh, iron slime. Okay, that's one of the bosses that's required to complete the quest line. I believe it might drop one of the eyes we need. Oh my goodness, dude. Wow. These invisible skeletons are quite something. They're like dodging my shots too, which is even crazier. There we go. How many more of these fellas are there? New skill dodge. Ooh, look at that. Boom. It doesn't seem to be like a crazy dodge, but that's still nice. And we got bread heart container. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, two more heart containers. That's actually pretty crazy because boom. We have a lot of extra hearts now. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Got a few heart pieces, iron, pretty good stuff. Mining system explorer map. Also, we got four heart pieces. Boom, heart container. And there we go. We got another heart. Okay. Now, I'm not ready to fight this iron slime yet, but I'll mark down the coordinates for it. And we shall continue looking for illagers. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Ew, dude. Nighttime is coming. We know what that means. It's time to sleep because I'm not surviving a day out in the nighttime alone. That feels better. Now we can continue along. <laughs> Battlefield. Interesting. There's like weird noises coming from here. Oh, I hear an illager. I don't know where. Oh, are they up top here? Yeah, they're in here. Oh, yeah. But if we can keep defeating them, we will keep increasing our reputation. Oh, there's some loot in here. Emeralds. Sort of the immortal mending. Maybe I can get that off with an anvil. Coins. Yay. Chest. Oh, there we go. Another sort of the immortal. This place is weird. It's giving me weird vibes. I kind of want to get out of here now. So I've defeated a few villagers. Let's see if that has helped. I think we need to defeat 
need a total of 10 before, yeah, he still won't talk to us. Let's just quickly check this out. Yeah, there's usually no loot until the top layer in these. So that's where we shall head to right away. And we got Vexes. Okay, quickly loot this name tag. Oh, okay, ow, that actually hurts a lot. Recharge seven, continue to hold the ranged attack button to double, triple, or quadruple to charge a bow, increasing its damage each time. Wow, okay, let's head up top. And yeah, we got golden blocks up here and a waist out, which I'm familiar with. And we will very much benefit from that. And let's head out of this strange little biome that we're in called the battlefield. I don't like it at all. Hello, birdies. Oh, you want this bread, don't you? Don't try to steal my bread. Do they eat it if I drop it? No. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. Yeah. <laughs> they made a little baby. Here we go, guys. Aw. I have a little squad of birds now. You know, I should bring them back home, but I'm too lazy. So we'll just leave them as they are. Oh, boy. What do we got here? A swamp? Oh, that's not a part of the village. That is a enemy tower. But there are pillagers there, so maybe we can check it out. Oh, that guy's not good. These guys are bad. Yeah. See, those guys are crazy, man. Oh, yep. Here we go. See, there's more. I am like almost at a double row of health now. That's pretty astounding, actually. I did not think I'd be getting to that much health. <laughs> what does that do? That's cursed, man. The mobs in this pack are absolutely cursed. <laughs> Why do I hear building? They're breaking blocks? Does this guy break blocks? Are you kidding me? No way. This pillager's breaking blocks, dude. Look at his eyes. I've never seen this in my life. That's uh quite scary, actually. Yeah, look, all of them can break blocks. I'm getting out. Are you kidding me? I'm not ready for this. Look at this. Here's a house. I'm back in this weird biome. I'll post up here because nighttime's coming, so I'll just sleep off the night from here. You know, I really never feel safe in this pack. Why is... Who? What, what is that, dude? What is going on? On. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be messing with this guy, whoever whoever it is. Oh, I got it. The more you play this pack, the more confusing it gets. Dude. Hello. Uh, hi. How are you? Okay. Oh, cool. Not gonna ask any questions. This is a long swamp, too. Like, I've been here for a long time. This looks like a witch's village. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And nighttime is here again. Guess what that means? We sleep away everything. Yeah, you're dead. Okay, let's sleep. Not much going on here, really. Other than like a lost cat. I'm sorry, buddy. Don't have any fish for you. Our strange quest continues on. Oh, hello. Good thing you're friendly. Oh my god, that's a sea serpent. Uh, where's my warp scroll? All right, I'm out. I'm done. Nope. I'm gonna put a waystone here and we'll call this home. Okie dokie. So we can drop off our loot and I can actually make some more golden apples, which will be really, really helpful. Bam, there we go. And I guess what we could do is start following this mining system explorer map and then on the way, hopefully find a safer way to defeat some villagers because I'm pretty sure that they do spawn at this camp as well. Here we go, we got a pillager outpost, which is exactly what I kind of wanted to find because this feels a lot more manageable. Oh, hey, you stole my pillager kill, man. It's kind of messed up. There we go, you notice something fall into your inventory. My will by Steve. Hold on, let's quickly read through this. This is a message to my fellow adventurers. My name is Steve. As of right now, dozens of villagers are outside of my doorstep. The vile and horrifying creatures in this world can burn down villages in seconds. Maybe that's why villagers are so aggressive to strange faces. You can sacrifice villagers uh, in the nether and uh, then and the god of Hades will be pleased with you. So a lot of this stuff I know about. I'm not sure how much this quest book really helps us. Oh boy. Got a chest up here. Rose buckler increases resistance when sprinting. That's a strange item. Mechanical short bow. Bow packs a swift punch, but it has radiance shot it looks like, which I'm pretty sure heals. Oh, hello. Who's attacking me right now? I'm gonna sleep off the night before doing anything else. Oh, also I can make another heart container. Boom. I feel like I've defeated more than 10 pillagers. So I'd like to check up on some villagers and see if our reputation is better. I don't know. Let's uh, continue following this map and hopefully we can find some villagers along the way. Oh, and we got more sea enemies. I'm going to try to boat around everybody. I do wish I still had my warp scroll because now if a sea serpent comes after us, I'm in a pretty bad position. Oh, yep, there's a sea serpent. And because of that, I kind of have to put a stop to my progression. I mean, I don't want to get one shot by a sea serpent. Yeah, that actually makes it pretty difficult to correctly follow this map. Although here's a pirate ship. We can check that out. What do I... <gasps> 
Dude, how does it not get stuck on the land, though? I think I can shoot it from here and it won't be able to attack me. Oh, I got it. Wow, that actually didn't take a lot of hits. I think it was because it was a smaller one. Oh, hello, Goblin Trader. I am heavily considering leaving this place because it's very, very dangerous. Um, okay. These fellas are shooting at me already. These guys are all shooting each other at this point, which works for me. Yep, there we go. Yep, there we go. Ow. I'm scared of the melee guys. That's about it. These guys are mostly no problem for me. Boom, boom. And wow, that's a bunch of ores and diamonds. Look at that. That's actually, whoa, that's really good loot. Oh, one of them is breaking. Okay, love to see it. The issue is I can't actually break the spawner. That kind of makes it difficult to clear this out without dying. Okay, let's just light this area up in water bucket. I'll actually take that. Bunch of fish, hearts, sleep, sleep, sleep. No, oh, are there already monsters nearby? How is that possible? Okay, please let me sleep. Okay, all good. I can try to follow the map a little bit more, even though it is very risky. Oh my god. Yep. Nope, 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 nope. No, 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 no. It came after me so quickly. Okay, I beat it on land. Go, 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 go. Okay, I can shoot it from here. What is that? Is that a turtle? I don't know. There we go. And yeah, I guess the verdict is that I will not be following the map any further. Hello. You're interesting. I'm kind of... I shouldn't have attacked it. I was just too curious. Ice. Oh, all that for some ice. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a villager. Can't trade with him if he has any trades. Oh, hello. There we go. I got him. That was a bit strange. Oh, here's a waystone, which is uh, actually pretty nice. That lets us teleport right back home. I found out that the levels of fame are actually determined by how big your mine costs colony is. Yeah, so we're going to need to build out our own civilization if we want to be able to advance our gear at all. Now, we don't really have a very cleared out area around us, which is not preferable, but maybe with some work, we can clean this out and then we can build our mine colony around here. Well, let's get to work, I guess. And I need more food, which is bad. I should have picked up that fish. In fact, I could go back to that ship and get all the fish from there. There we go. Raw salmon, raw cod, cooked griddle flatfish. I don't know what that is. I'm not even going to take it. Oh, well, here's another waystone. So let's go home. We can smelt this food up. It's not a lot still, but at least it is something. And it's nighttime again, which means going to sleep. That's right. Okay, let's get back to work on clearing the area out. Oh, what? Hello? Hold on, what's going on? What are you doing? Can't trade with them. See, I know for a fact these are not good guys because I've, uh, I've dealt with them in the past and they can literally take items out of your chests. I'm very tempted to kill this guy right now. The only thing that's holding me back is that it could affect my overall villager reputation. We'll leave it for a bit, but that might make all my items despawn. <laughs> Wait, I'm curious if I can try one thing. So since the trees fall for a second, oh, so I can just do that and then torch it. Oh, but it only gives me one piece then. Oh. Uh, Okay, it doesn't actually work, I see. Whoa, wait, hold on, that's bad. Are you serious? It's not even aggressive. That's the, hello, can you not be in my house? I just don't know if me killing him is gonna open up a can of worms that I don't wanna open, you know? I definitely should try to light up the full area around our base as well. Uh, I really hope the fire thing doesn't burn my house down. Whoa, I just got a skill called dual wielding. That's kind of nice. Right now, I don't want to do it just because our current sword is so good that dual wielding probably won't help at all. But in the future, I'll try it maybe. What is this guy doing? He's chasing that thing. They, what, 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 oh my God, look at him go. These guys are really messing with me. Like they are disturbing. Oh, the fire thing disappeared at least and it didn't cause damage. You see, it was a good thing. It's just wanted a home. Okay, I definitely have some progress on clearing out the area around our base here. This is probably good enough to get started with the mine colony stuff already. Oh, okay. Whoa, this guy's kind of like helping out here. Oh, oh, it's gonna die. Oh, so I think if we want to start, the best thing to do would be to get a supply camp. And usually you can just find these while you're adventuring, but it looks like we can make one as well, which would work just fine. Okay, let's see. Boom, a bunch of chests. And then here we go. Supply camp. Boom. Oh, it's nighttime. Sleep that off. Okay, supply camp. We should just be able to place this down. And maybe there. No. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I've built the main wine colony building. 
So right away, let me light up the area a little bit better. Oh, there's a bunch of material here, like food, building blocks, but I don't really want to steal any of it. The only thing that we should pick up is this town hall and the build tool. So I will continue with some fixing up. We want to place the town hall. Let's figure it out. And we have options here as to which version we want to make it. Medieval birch, no. Let's just go with the fortress theme for our town hall. And I think that'll expand into the rest of our mine colony. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, okay, the placement worked there. Unfortunately though, that is only the beginning. I believe we're gonna need to come over here. Look at this, uh, create new colony. Soon, the first settlers will join your colony. Let us continue with the work at hand. Okay, here we go. Marion B. Curzon. So now we can request her. Oh, she's already getting attacked. See, this is the crazy thing about this pack. Like how? Oh my god, again? It's rolled back again. Okay, well, create new colony. Traveler has arrived, here we go. So we have a member of our colony here. What we're gonna need to do is build options, I think. Um, build building, and we need to assign a builder. Oh, right, I need a builder's hut, I guess. So builder's hut, let's try to make that. Okay, and boom, builder's hut. Where do we wanna put that? Oh my goodness, that is huge. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, and someone died. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> not surprised. Okay, boom. So great job on the placement of the builder's hut. I seem to put it right where the town hall is. I don't know what I did exactly, but let's see. Let's see, build options, build building. There we go, I made a request, and now we shall find a citizen to build this, which means we also need to get the proper materials, I believe. Oh, there we go, I've started work on the builder's hut, so that's good news, but I need shears to continue working on it, okay. So that's just one request, but they're gonna have a lot more. So here we go, we'll put that in her inventory. Acquired resources, so boom, we can put some of them in. We need dirt though, and we need acacia thing. Oh, I don't remember if we've seen acacia anywhere. I can go check to see if I have any acacia saplings real quick. Nope, still need an axe, don't you? Yeah, okay, let's get stone then. You know, Nova, you should not be going down here. Yeah, I've got to cover this. This is not good. Covered up, cool. Let's get some cobblestone. You go there's some stone tools hopefully that fixes everything wood or gold oh i literally have to make wooden tools there we go she's happy now okay i know i'm supposed to care about my reputation with villagers but i really dislike these guys like they just freak me out to be honest Okay, so our builder is getting to work slowly but surely, um, but our number one priority is definitely getting the resources required for this. Dirt, okay, we need to get 202 dirt. I guess I'll just even out the area around us at the same time. All right, wow, wow. I almost died just like that. Okay, the fire guys are no longer my friend. I'm killing everything in sight, that's it. Hello, what do you need? You need dirt. Okay, so let's pop some dirt in there. There we go. Oh, are you building up? Well, looks like she's actually building upwards. Oh yeah, you see she's filling it in. Oh, well, that's my bad. I will get more dirt first. Okay, that should be enough dirt. There we go. Now we just need a Keisha. Spawner breaker. Oh, I just uh, unlocked the ability to break spawners. That's kind of nice. Okay, let's see how we're doing with a Keisha. Oh my god, I see this thing. I don't like these things. Any acacia? No, no acacia. So I did figure out that if I do cancel build and then build options, I can change which type we're using. And I'm thinking this oak one is probably the best option. So we'll do medieval oak and build building and then request pickup now, I guess. Oh, okay, so it's already in progress. Perfect. And uh, now we just need to collect all the resources required. There has been a death. Oh, Oh, Nova died. Okay, well, you know what? I just don't even care anymore. Crafting table. Okay, so we need just basic oak stuff and cobblestone stuff. So I will quickly collect up those resources. Oh, hello. What is this? 
Excuse me, what are you? That really looks like it's like a baby dragon. It's possible it eats meat? I don't know what this is though. Is there any meat I can get real quick? I don't know, we'll leave it alone. I just hope it doesn't grow into like a full dragon or something. Iron slime, okay. That's a boss, oh boy, oh boy, what's going on? I'm being attacked, invisible skeletons. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, and I started a raid here. Okay, well that's one way to get rid of it. I'm leaving. Oh, the iron golem doesn't attack me anymore. How sweet. Okay, head home. Boom. Now I can relax in our little town here. Now we can add oak logs. Now we just need to make the specific things like fences and stuff like that. Oh my goodness. Minimum stock. Limit reached. How do I increase the stock? Well, it's nighttime, so I'm sleeping. Oh my god. Do you see that? Oh my god. Come on, guys. Oh my god. Jeez, man. Holy moly. Here, eat, folks. Eat. Okay, rack. Um, can I put it like here? Like, does that work? This is so broken. It hurts, man. It hurts how broken this is. Seriously. Like, uh, okay. I quit. There we go. Oh my god, there's a million items in there. No wonder it's full. I don't know how, but I wasn't able to take out the items. So, like, I don't know what you want me to do about that. Yeah, you shouldn't be carrying all that either. Either way, I think it's a good idea that we cancel this because I'm not sure how we were gonna lace these two so close together, like the town hall and the builder's hut. Let's clear some space out over in this direction, I guess. Okay, I'm definitely making progress on clearing out this area. There's just so much to do. This might be enough space, especially once all of the leaves despawn. Uh, let's see, so builder, oak. Boom. So we can just do this one if we want. Pretty small, actually. Smaller than I thought it would be. And in that case, maybe we should move this over. I want to make efficient use of our space. Let's see. Request pick up now. Okay. Seems uh, one of our colonists should already be on their way. Where is Elena? I hope Elena is not one of the colonists that died. She's taken quite a while to come over for some reason. I'm hearing weird noises. I do not like them. Someone has started on our work. What's this guy? Gotcha. Goodbye, sir. I didn't have enough time to go sleep in the last three days. Okay, okay. We're gonna let you sleep. Here's a bed for you guys. Do you guys like beds? I don't know if you do. I'll just sleep on the bed. How about that? Let's see. Can I put this stuff in? Please tell me I can. It looks like I can. Vertical oak timber frame. Okay. What do you need? You need a shovel. Okay. There's a shovel. There's the rest of the planks. And then let's get cobblestone. <gasps> that's a boss. That's a boss. That's a boss. Okay, hold on. Oh boy. It just broke my helmet with one shot, dude. I don't know if my helmet was already low durability. It might have been. Wow. Okay, we're good. This does give us the opportunity to get some good loot though. So I'm not entirely mad about this. Oh, this one can teleport. I have no idea where it went. It might be above ground, but there is some loot here. That's a helmet. Hero's helmet. Thank you. Heart container. Can I use it? Oh, how did I lose all my hearts? How did I just lose all of my hearts? Let me try re-logging in. Oh yeah. Okay. So I've realized why. It's because this helmet has a reckless one, which basically takes out a huge percentage of your health. So if we want to use this, maybe we can take off the enchantments. Oh, look, this thing gives me haste. There we go. You see? But if I put it just in my inventory, oh, it gives me haste just being in my inventory too. That's, uh, that's actually pretty crazy. Anyways, we have, I guess, defeated this boss. Not really. I don't know where it went. Probably despawned by now. gotten two stacks of cobblestone. I'm hoping that is enough. You know what I need also is a backpack. Like backpacks are like a number one priority. I just need string and a leather of some type. Anyways, uh, let's make this grind stone. Let us take off the enchantments off that. Oh, we still keep potion ore though. So that's nice. Bam. But we needed more tools, right? We needed the shovel. Oh, yeah. And somebody just died. What do I hear, dude? Oh my God. It's a mutant zombie. Is he approaching this way? There's no way. I don't like these things. Either. That's a rabbit? That's the most cursed looking rabbit I've ever seen in my life. Let's see. So cobblestone, bam. Now we need just some specifics. So cobblestone stairs and cobblestone slab. Uh-huh. There we go. There we go. Those two are done. And then I need an oak door. Bam. And then I need coarse dirt. How do I get coarse dirt? I don't really know, actually. Does it just spawn? Oh, no. You can make it with the gravel and dirt. Okay. 
Come on, guys. Let's get this built. We don't have all day. Okay, we really don't. Boom, coarse dirt. Oh, no. Is it full again? Did I fill? No. Okay, so I might have to cancel it again. Okay, there we go. A million items just dropped. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to fully clear my inventory out right now. I don't care. We're going to build it the same way. Medieval oak. Boom. Right? Yeah, so something like that. So then we have that, and then we request pickup. Yes. Okay, so Elena has started. Now we can get the basic tools for her. And then what we can do is we can fill these in. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. And then vertical oak. Oak planks and cobblestone slab. Okay, let's see. Bam, bam, bam. All right, there we go. So it is full, finally. Let's see. Can I actually start building anything else? Building town hall. So why is nobody building the town hall? Hold on. Build options. Build building. There we go. Henley, hello. Perfect. So now we can work on this. Where are you going, Elena? Elena, I'll get you a shovel to make a million tools for Elena, okay? So here, you want shovels? Let's make five. Let's make like two axes. Let's make two pickaxes. Okay, there we go. Bam. You got a million tools now. Oh my god, she doesn't have enough space. Okay, well, while she's doing that, I need to get food. You know, it would be great if some animals could spawn. Okay. Well, I mean, there's a ship here, and I have no more food. Oh, I don't even have arrows. Okay, maybe I can't do this. Actually, maybe I can. Hold on. I have an idea. If I can get into the perfect part... Where... Oh, the loot was! Changed my mind about that one. Hello, villager. Oh, villagers hate me, because I've been hitting all, uh, all of the other guys. But I really dislike those guys. Illager campsite explorer map. Interesting. Art container. I love those. I also got the supply ship, which can add to our mine colony. I'm looting everything. There's a lot of loot in this village. Boom. Another heart container. What is over here? Uh-huh. More food, which is good. And then we have these guys over here who are satyrs or something, and they are allied with villagers. So that means they probably won't like us very much. Well, I didn't really end up finding any animals. Oh, friendly goblins. Interesting. This is a friendly goblin village, I guess. We just dropped obsidian. Oh, look at this. He's giving me free loot. Are you seeing this right now? What's going on? What? No, wait, maybe I need to stop. Oh, he stopped. He stopped. He just dropped so many items. Look at this. I mean, obsidian. What is blowing up over here? Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're all trying to kill it. They're dropping their little goblin bombs. Oh, and nighttime is coming. I have my bed, right? Yeah. Hold on, I want to pickpocket some more goblins, because that was pretty cool. It doesn't look like I can do it with anyone else. I don't know what's going on with that. Here's some cows. The issue is this is going to affect my reputation with them. Tell you what, I'm going to quickly go check out whatever is in this house. Got some food, at least. This might actually have leather. No, it did not. Did have some other good things, though. Heart container. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely possible that we can find leather. I guess I'll wait a little bit more just to uh, keep our reputation safe while we can. Oh, got a tiger locked in there. I need to fight some of these guys to boost my reputation. Transporter. Oh. Okay, now that's the scary one. And I don't have my bow. Tiger's here. We also have some stuff going on this way. What is this? Um, I'm confused. I don't know what this is. I have seen a couple of these portals. We need to figure out how to activate this. Yeah, so it's Wesley's Roguelike Dungeons. When I right-click the portal, it says it needs more orbs, but... Or Orb of the Deep? Like, I don't know what orbs those are. Maybe Orb of the Deep. This is very strange. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out some more info about this as we continue adventuring. Anyways, here we do have the tiger. I'm not sure if it's gonna be aggressive if we release it. You know, I kind of feel bad for it. Like, it should be living its life, you know? Let's go. Out we come. Oh, and you're trying to attack me. Of course you are. After after being so friendly. Oh my god, I need to stop this bleeding. Okay, I'm gonna relog and then I'm gonna eat a golden apple. I'm pretty sure that's like one of the only ways we survive. So, okay, and golden apple. There we go. There we go. I knew it would work. Okay, hold on. Okay, there we go. I'm like, there's no way I can bounce up this high. I don't have anything I can do to it, really. If I had the flint steel, I'd use my TNT. I can't believe how ungrateful this tiger is, you know? But, you know, my fault. You never, tr never trust a tiger. I guess let's build up this way. Huh. Ooh. 
That was a bad jump, but we're good. Okay, time to get out of here. Whoa, what is that? Look at that thing. It's going crazy. Okay, let's go back from where we came. I guess on the way, I can defeat this thing if it comes after us. Okay, let's see. It's going to kill that villager. Now, are you going to be aggressive towards me? Hello? It doesn't seem to be aggressive. It looks very creepy. Can I ride it? No. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to ask questions. But yeah, let's see if the villagers are any friendlier to us. Looks like they are, because... Uh, oh, nope. I lied. Home we go. There we go. All good. Feels good to be back. I'm not even safe here either, though, but feels good to be back anyways. Okay, I've started work on the builder's hut. Oh, I need to load the chunk here so that they keep working even when I'm gone, except there's a fault in that and that they can die. I can't uh, upgrade my hearts anymore, it looks like, because I just used a hard container and it didn't give me anything. So that is unfortunate. Fair enough, though. Oh, and th oh no, Elena died shortly after beginning work on the builder's hut, of course. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to say. Okay, can Pedro, Pedro's supposed to be working on this. I don't know where Pedro is though. Pedro, come here. Yeah, okay, Pedro's coming. Pedro will get to work now. So we'll give him the tools he needs. There we go. Okay, we'll see how that goes. So Pedro seems to be digging out this area. I'm gonna see what he's doing so that maybe I can just do it instead and speed up the whole process, you know? Looks like he's digging this out. I'm trying to see what he's trying to do here. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh no. He might be trying to build a main town hall, it looks like, because he's digging out. Yeah, uh, I'm not liking what's going on here. We have some problems, clearly. Okay, I need to fix this. Cancel. Cancel build. There we go. Okay, let's see. Let's break this town hall out. Okay, so apparently this is like bedrock because it's not breaking. Okay, I can't break this, so it is what it is. Oh, I just got the skill in... Her addiction torch. Cool, cool. Okay, I'm currently trying to figure this out and it's quite frustrating. So what if I put it like right here? How do you feel about that, folks? Is that all right with you? Looks like it should be. So if we do that, then build options, build building. Uh-oh, there's no building close enough. Okay, manage workers and we will hire. Maybe we can just do Nivea. There we go, you're hired. So now we just need to get you the tools and stuff. This is the most frustrating thing ever. Look at how many people are dying. So apparently the citizens are mourning, I think, but I don't know, is that why Nivea isn't working? Cause she's mourning. Hello, can you please go to work? Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Build request created. Okay, Nevaeh is coming over. Started work. Okay. Now we fill this in. There's a few items I forgot. So I need a crafting table and some stairs. There we go. Boom. What do you need? You need shears. Here you go. Shears. Okay. What are you doing, Nevaeh? We're clearing out the grass here. I'll help you out. Okay. Now she's clearing out this dirt. I am just going to break a chunk of dirt here and then I'm going to give her dirt. So if she needs to place some, that'll be much easier than breaking some, you know? Oh my god. Dude, look at this Enderman. Get away. Whoa. What's going on? I can't be experiencing this curse stuff. You kidding me right now? We will give Nevea extra dirt just in case. Here you go. Oh, she's placing dirt back. There we go. Okay. Looks like I broke way too much. Look at this. Look at her go. But this is way faster than breaking individual blocks anyways. So that's fine. So it appears that uh, I should not have dug out any of this. Oh, and the building is getting started. Finally, 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 finally. Okay. I'm still having the issue of being very low on food right now, which uh, I don't have a great solution for. Favor brought a low curse from Poseidon. Whoa. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm being like sucked into the water here. Can you just let me out? Ow. Excuse me. It's really not letting me out. Are you kidding me? Do I need to like kill this whirlwind? Like what's going on? Dude. Okay, I have an idea. I might be able to dig down into the ground to prevent myself from struggling against this further. Oh, okay. I got out. There we go. There's just pigs here. Just free pigs that I could defeat and get meat from, but... Uh, um, that would ruin my reputation with them. Uh, I need to find more things to loot. Whoa, look at that. That's a pretty cool guy. Is he gonna be aggressive? Oh, he is. I'm not too afraid. Oh, boy. Okay, take you. Oh, he drops leather. Ooh, that's good. I need leather. Goodbye. Nighttime is coming. I'm gonna get ready to sleep, too. There is something on this tower, I'm sure, but, like, I'm really lazy to get up it. And sleep. Dodge LV. Okay, I got an upgraded dodge. Here we go, village. Oh, this is one that I'd been to before. Yeah, I can probably find some extra wheat here or something. Ender pearls. I mean, I guess I'll take those. 
Food. Okay, here's some food. Okay, there we go. I mean, there is this Illager camp, which I'm more confident about taking on now. We can try to do so carefully. Oh, I do wish I had more arrows, though, because that thing... Ow. It's probably not going to be easy to defeat with a sword. There's a ghost coming at me. Okay. Soul bottle. Um, oh, I kind of regret my choices here. Okay, there's an evoker there. Let me make a little escape hatch here. Okay, let's see. So the evoker is here. Oh, my shell broke. Oh, he's enchanted too. Kill, kill. Did I get him? I did. Where's the uh, totem of undying? Okay, these guys don't seem to mine actually. That's one down. Oh, you got through. Oh, you do damage. I don't have any food. Okay, I'm abandoning that mission. I really just need to find a way to get a bunch more food. There are these corpses. I'm wondering if they'll drop a bunch of bones. There's one. Okay, they each drop a bone, which honestly, even that isn't that bad. We can use this to bone meal some potatoes, I guess. Yeah, getting food is a bit, a uh, bit rough. I've been here. Did I leave behind any food? Nope, I didn't. Oh, apples okay i still have some food to sustain myself to hopefully find some more food because i mean i'm really not doing well right now oh we have something over here it's one of these statue things i'm pretty sure under this yep we got some loot but nothing crazy more bones okay 20 bones that's a dragon we are not gonna go that way okay fine i guess i'll just make a potato farm let's return home <laughs> Oh, <gasps> no way, dude. No way it followed me. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm running below ground. It's chasing me, dude. Oh my god. That dragon. The radius on dragons is pretty crazy. Oh, and there's a spawner. I can break spawners now. Okay. Um, that's a helmet, enchanting table, wither skeleton skull. I think I still hear it. I'm just going to eat this golden apple because I'm not regenerating health naturally right now. And that's not a good thing at all. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ow. Running the other way. I need to get out of, of, of here and everywhere. In fact, A and home. Okay. I just used that waste stone. And I'm sleeping off the night. I've started work on the builder's hut. Um, yeah. I mean, I hope so. Oh, hello. Yeah, we're doing good over here. We're actually progressing. Good to see. Good to see. Good to see. Sorry to bug ya. Sorry to bug ya. Placing more chests around here. <gasps> Builder's hut has been completed. Look at that. Hold on. Oh, look at that. Builder's hut's done. Okay, well, we have a whole lot more work to do, so no time to really celebrate about that. Okay, now I'm trying to grow some potatoes real quick because I really am struggling with food. Where's some water at? Oh, here we go. Boom. Okay, and maybe like right here, I can kind of start a little farm for myself. Whoa, look at worms spawned. These guys might actually end up helping us with the crops, I'm guessing. I mean, I hope they will, because uh, otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. Anyways, let's bone meal a bunch of crops. And this is definitely my favorite way <laughs> of getting a bunch of food without much work. There we go. We'll keep the rest for ourselves. Okay, now that we got some food slowly coming along, I can uh, live a little bit and let's see what's going on with our builder's hut, first of all. Also, yeah, this is sad. R.I.P. Okay, hello. Builder's Hut 1. Yeah, I don't really know what this does, actually, but uh, um, we're just gonna assume it does something, you know? Anyways, um, the next thing we should do is build the town hall, absolutely. That is of high importance. So, first of all, we want to switch to Medieval Oak and then build building. Now, the request has been started, and we're gonna need to get more materials for this. Oh, there we go. Uh, builder No M Hammer. I've started work on the town hall. Where are you, though? Oh, here you are. Hello. You need a shovel. Okay. We're gonna need to gear this fella up a bit. Inventory. Here you go, buddy. Also, let's see. Yeah, here we go. So we have the resources needed. We need a lot of oak logs, oak planks, and then some little kind of one-off items, which we should be able to get for the most part. So uh, I guess I'll quickly get to work <laughs> on getting all these materials. No, our builder just died. How'd he die? Oh my goodness. Maybe because there's 5 million slimes haunting us. Maybe that's why. Actually, oh, well, okay. We got a new builder already coming. Oh, and the mobs are mobbing. They're spawning. We should sleep. Okay, there we go. Our new builder has started work. Okay, you should be good to go. I'm gonna keep getting wood. 
Oh boy, looks like there might be a lot to dig out here just because of how I placed the town hall, but I can't even un unplace it from what I understand. So maybe I'll help in mining this out. Where are my diamonds at? There we go, diamond. And that's right, folks, I'm making a diamond shovel. Let me help you out here, Raven. I don't know how much you wanna dig out or what you're doing, but I'm gonna try to help you here. What did I just hear? I don't know, dude. Oh, oh my God. What is that that I'm hearing? It's something, oh yeah. There it's, it might be that creeper. Oh, yep, there we go. I was afraid that was gonna happen. Interdiction torch. Oh, I've unlocked this recipe. Look at this. So this will stop mumps from spawning within a 15 block radius, I believe, which would be so useful if I can get that to, to happen. This would make my life literally a million times easier if it'll work. Um, so I need coins, first of all, which I have been collecting. Dude, what is that? Dude, what in the world, man? Like, seriously? Yeah, see, this is getting dangerous now. I'm gonna eat a golden apple, and I'm gonna head down here to clear out whatever mobs are here already, because this is not gonna be good if our villagers come anywhere near here. <gasps> that's a boss. See, that's the problem. Let's try to defeat this boss if we can. Ow. Oh, does he have thorns? Yeah. Definitely has thorns. Did he just teleport? Get him. I'd force him. I don't know. Get him. Get him. Holy moly, dude. Okay, that might be a lost cause if I'm honest. Oh, and now that thing is trying to attack me. Oh my god. See, this is crazy. No, 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 no. Okay, this is bad. Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna go sleep off the night, first of all. How can I beat this boss? I think it teleported away again. Oh, there it is. No, no. Why are you going here? Oh, and he teleported above ground. Okay, here we go. Come at me, bro. We're gonna make a little platform though because he can knock us away. Dude, do you see that thing? Oh my God, dude, oh, I'm done. Oh, and the slimes are knocking me around. Dude, I actually cannot right now. Oh my God. Okay, first of all, where did this scary monster go? Okay, we're good. Yep, that's fine. We can play this game all day, buddy. Oh, and our builder died. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Look at all this gear. Whoa. I got a new chest plate, too. That's literally better than our diamond one. Potion or a six. Blast protection three. Void dodge four or something. I don't even know. Dude, I mean, these boots are definitely better. That's been a whole experience. Let's try to make these torches ASAP. That's what will make our lives a lot easier. I did see that we need blocks of coal to make these, which is the area in which uh, I might be lacking a little bit, if I'm honest. Oh, no. He's out of space again. I hate that thing. Guys, I can't deal with everything right now. Like, I'm going crazy. Blocks of coal, three sticks. And then it looks like we need to upgrade our coins. Boom. And bam, I can make two of these. That's it. Oh, wait, no, I got four from that. Okay, cool. So, I mean, theoretically, you'd really want to place these as efficiently as possible. We can start from here, maybe. And then one, two, three, 13, 14, 15. Around here, we'll place a second torch and we'll keep doing this. Maybe we'll cut in this way. The only problem is these guys might start breaking my torches if I place them here. So I might need to kind of place these underground for now. Hopefully that still works. Let's just put one over here. Okay. Oh, whoa, look at that. The mobs just bounce off. Oh, <gasps> wait, I didn't know that's how it works. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. That's amazing. Hold on. Yeah, you guys wanna, oh, okay. Something just happened. Boom. Yeah, they can't even come in here right now. Wow, we need to maximize the amount of torches of those that we can get. They just literally cannot come near anybody anymore. Okay, so I mean, at this point, our real goal that would be so helpful is getting more coins by defeating enemies, getting a lot more coal by mining, and I mean, the sticks that we already have. So mainly coal and coins is what we want. Let's make some new pants and a new helmet. Boom, boom. Oh, in fact, boom, we have a better helmet than regular right here. Okay, now it's nice time and I'm just curious yeah I mean there's a bunch of mobs spawning around us right but they're not fully approaching the inside of our base which is just a beautiful thing now this guy's saying he needs more space which uh, that's a terrible sign but anyways for now oh you see there's a zombie right there <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can't do nothing, buddy. Yeah, I'm not even gonna touch you. Yeah, but for now, we're gonna do what we wanted with the, the torches. So let's head on into the underground. In fact, I could even go underground here and just light up the caves in the area. Uh-huh, we got a chest here. Ooh, okay. Ow. 
Okay, these little like amphibian things or whatever they are, are pretty creepy. My one concern is that I do not have much food at all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this. That lava is going crazy. I'd be kind of curious to check out what's going on down there. It is uh, going to be quite dangerous, though. And down the stream we go. Oh, that's a boss. Now, the huge plus about bosses is that they give us some of the best loot in the game. A huge minus is they are some of the most dangerous in the game. Oh, my God. What in the world? Are you kidding me right now? Since when is that a thing? Okay, I'm not loving these circumstances here. Gotta be honest with you. Oh, they're fighting each other. Oh, yeah. Wow, he like one shot him. See, that's never a good sign. I do wonder if we can get this guy trapped somehow. That would hopefully fix our issues. Struggling to figure out how I could do that, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, we're getting out. Oh, okay. I don't know how I only got to half a heart. I wonder if that boss is actually burning or if he has just permanent fire resistance because I just saw him fall in that lava. Wow. Okay, remind me to literally never take a fair fight with one of these bosses because they will undoubtedly kill me. This is a crazy cave though. Look at this. Ow. What? You know what? I really don't like the mobs in this game at all. In fact, I hate them. Yeah, you know what? Um, I'm not doing this. <laughs> yep, yeah, okay. This, this feels better. Oh, all right. Let me get some more coal. How about that? That's what I came here for. Okay, well, the good news is that I have gotten to about two stacks of coal, which should give us a good amount of coal blocks. I think our main priority now is going to be getting those coins because those are a lot more difficult to get. Oh, I was just mining this uh, huge vein of uh, coal here. And look at that. We got another trinket. Oh, we could unlock another trinket slot, but... What is our current one that we unlocked? A small clock will protect you from fall damage. Oh, I mean, that's kind of useful, to be honest. I wonder if that negates all fall damage, because that would be really good. In fact, I would just unlock this second slot and put that on. Why not? And a lot of people are apparently dying from my colony still, so our torches are not working well enough. Okay, everybody's dying. Um, I'm gonna stop mining coal. What's going on? Because I'm not digging this. Whoa. Uh, yeah, I guess the torches just aren't working as well as I would have hoped. Why do I hear, like, fire getting tossed over here? I don't know. Okay. Mm well, that's not great, but it's okay. We shall recover. Endless quiver makes all arrows infinite. That's actually pretty powerful if we get some type of an arrow that can do a lot of damage, like an instant damage arrow. Um, yeah, we should look into that. Anyways, we got four stacks of coal, which ended up being pretty good. Now let's try to get more coins, which uh, are collected by defeating all types of mobs in this pack. And I guess we can adventure a little bit, and we'll have to put our colonization on pause for now. So let us teleport out using our waystone here. And uh, we can go here, I guess. Oh, there is the iron slime, actually, which I'd kind of... Uh kind of like to try and take on. I feel like we are pretty geared up given that it's a starter boss. Maybe I'll look into it a little bit. So I just searched uh, a little bit of information up about the iron slime. It appears that going in with iron gear is a big no-no. And right now I literally have a full set of only iron gear. So my plan here is to wait a bit longer and loot more things. And then when we have gear that isn't just iron armor, we can approach this iron slime. In the meantime, we can definitely take on some other bosses and creatures and structures. So we will do that. I'm still uh, very scared of the ocean because there we have no control over what's going on. So yeah, we kind of need to figure out a way around that. I guess it is time to stop being scared of everything though and uh, it's time to start approaching some more structures that seem a bit daunting okay here we go we got a uh, little zombie tomb i believe you can check this out i can take some zombies on that's manageable oh boy this guy's decked out gotcha this is also pretty good for experience which i like there's a chest nothing crazy Mahujin protect i have no idea what that is okay we're reaching just an area of cave and i don't want to explore through through just cave anymore. That has proved to be very dangerous. Hello. Oh, little skeleton section of the crypt, I guess. Oh, Smite 3 Diamond Sword. I'm not mad at that at all. Give me that. In fact, Smite can be pretty useful in this pack just because of how many mobs can spawn that still follow under the same section as zombies. Oh my goodness. Where did all these guys come from? We got crazy helmets on too. Yeah, no, this is why I want to leave. Aha, okay. Looks like I found the way out. Thank you very much. Getting out of there. Also sleeping out the night. Maybe I shouldn't sleep off the night, even though this is pretty 
pretty dangerous. This is probably the time where we will spot the most amount of mobs with the coins that we need. Yeah, like I can already see a lot of creatures that I don't love. Oh, yeah, there's coins though. There we go. That's exactly what we want. They seem to be exactly what we need for loot. Yes. Oh, look at that. Dude, come on, man. Like that looks so creepy. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to be incredibly careful, but there's only a certain amount of carefulness that I can have when I'm fighting these crazy mobs. Oh, yeah, here we go. Do you think that this is a safe mob to fight? I'm only gonna bow at this guy. I can't. Where'd he go? Here he is. Okay. Getting hits on him here. Oh boy. Oh boy. <gasps> no! My teleportation is gonna get me killed. Okay. Good. This fellow has a lot of health, doesn't he? Just gonna eat a golden apple in case. Oh my god. I, there's so many things going on. This guy's like a pole boss, man. Oh, man, I have nausea. Great. Hello? <gasps> I got him. And he did drop three coins, in fact. Oh my goodness. Okay. That was a bad time for that to happen. Okay. This is a kind of peaceful biome. I like how I can see everything around me. Got another like mage tower here. I don't mind that at all. Uncommon leggings. Nice. Gives me a little bit extra armor. Why not? Rush six. That's good. Okay. Well, we made it through the night, which is a huge plus in my eyes. And now we can continue and hopefully find some easier ways to upgrade our situation. That seems to be another underground dungeon, which we could take on. Yeah. I mean, I guess we could quickly check this out. Yeah. Here we go. We got the underground passage. I don't really, oh, I don't really care too much for the first floor here. And so, Oh, we can kind of drop down. Oh, the cloud thing works. Oh, that's great. There's a lot of spawners here, though. Look at this. There we go. Got a stack of wood. That's interesting. I haven't seen that. And golden armor could actually be helpful for fighting the iron slime boss if we can't get a set of diamond armor. But, I mean, I'd rather have diamond armor, you know? Here, we can already go another floor down, which I will do. Oh, and here we're starting to see some creatures. Some creatures that I'm actually quite unfamiliar with. There's a spawner in here. Good. Oh, that looks like it could be poisonous. Oh my god. This armor is going to be the death of me. Is this a boss? Oh, it is. There we go. Oh, how did he still hit me? Okay, hello. I'm gonna make slabs really quickly. Hopefully that can help prevent getting shot at. Yeah, there we go. Mother Erickson the Bishop. Boom. Oh, and it dropped a bow. Oh, <gasps> look at that. Power, true shot, anima conduit, hunting. Whoa, that's a better bow than what we had. And uh, upgraded shield too. I like it a lot. And we got some stuff here. Whoa, artifact. Corrupted pumpkin glows with supernatural power, illuminating even the darkest nights with its powerful beacon. Fires a high power beam, continuously damages mobs. And I believe we should be able to equip it in artifact slot somewhere. Oh, here we go. Artifact, boom. So now theoretically we should be able to use it, but it's not using itself, so it seems like this one doesn't really work. I don't know, maybe we have to unlock the ability to use it or something, but that's interesting because that's the first one we found. We have not found any artifacts before. Whoa, we can go another layer down here already. Whoa, look at this. Uh oh, this is a weapon, I think. Diamond pickaxe. Maybe it can mine. Let's let's check. Can mine. It's not too great at mining, though. This is quite puzzling. Yeah, my iron pickaxe is better than that, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Yeah, the loot is getting good though, so that's a huge plus. More ender pearls. Oh, we got one of these. These guys drop coins, so I'm actually happy about this spawning. I am curious. Let's quickly try to attack with this pickaxe. Mm, no, it doesn't. Oh, I don't know, actually. Ah, bah, bah, bah. No, I'm not using that anymore. Gotcha. 22 coins. Got another floor down here. Oh, also, I haven't used our bow yet. Very nice. Fortune 2 diamond pickaxe. Let's go. Hold an apple, coal. Can I make a backpack right now while I'm down here? I actually can't. Yeah, let's make a backpack real quick. Backpack, boom. There we go. Oh, so nice, so nice, so nice. Really great stuff. That's gonna make our lives easier for sure. Okay, hello. Diamond leggings, whoa. Oh, life boost too. Cool. How much life is that going to give me? Oh, well, I guess none. My life did not go up at all. I don't know how that works. Okay. Oh, <gasps> uh, are they stuck in there or not? Oh, it looks like they are actually. Hello. Yeah. Oh yeah. You guys fight each other. It's perfect. This is exactly what everybody who wants to control the world wants. Make them fight against each other. You know what I'm saying? More diamond leggings. 
I'll take it. Oh, Iron Chestplate with Protection 3. Are you kidding me? What's going on right now? These are really good items to just get, like, randomly. Golden apples, diamond boots. They have gravity pulse, which is really bad. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that pulls enemies towards you. Efficiency three on breaking three shovel. Yes, please. Well, going into this dungeon was one of the best things I've done so far. Wow. Oh, lapis lazuli. Gimme, gimme. I do have uh, the fortune two pickaxe, which I can be using. There's an opening here. Oh boy. I didn't want to fall, but that's fine. I hear something. Oh, hello. Can we be friends? Oh, this is a bit dangerous. Okay. So if I'm going to fight this, I'll fight it from here, I guess. Okay. Okay. I'll take you out there, bud. There we go. Dropping just a bunch of silverfish, but that's fine. Yeah, now hold on. What's over here? Is this a different dungeon? I think it actually is. Oh! Oh my god. I just activated a trap by accident. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. I'm familiar with these types of dungeons. Yes, we can try to take a look. Oh, what was that? Oh, I leveled up my mining. Okay. I just heard another trap. There's a lot of traps. Oh my god. I think the TNT already blew up. Bye. Is this uh, blocks of lapis? Because I will actually grab that happily if it is. It is. Very nice. Okay. What's this chest got? Ooh, basic ring. Just gives us extra armor toughness. I'll equip that. That's like the first bobble that we've gotten. Boom. Extra one armor toughness on that necklace. Essence of death. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa. What's going on? I don't know. Not a lover of this dungeon because it seems to be very booby trapped, but we can have a little bit more of a look around. Shadow gem. Whoa. Okay, you can do some pretty crazy things. Soulfire wand. Um, I guess I'll grab this. Another ring. I think we can equip two. Yes, we can. Diamond. Arcane gold ingot. Uh huh. I don't know. I'll grab this, I guess. Okay, I think we've kind of explored uh, the main part of whatever this dungeon was. And we can head out. Here we got more of a closed in dungeon. I like this. And I believe this is the final layer. Oh, yeah. So here we have an iron helmet with some good enchantments on it. Smite three. Okay, it looks like we've kind of looted most of this one as well. Time to go, time to go, time to go. Now I'm leaving now, but I'll tell you what. I do want to find a mine shaft within these hundred days because uh, this mod pack is called Mine Shafts and Monsters, you know? There's definitely some loot over there. This is a bit dangerous, but if I stay at a range, it should be okay. Yeah, I got the angel thing. The demon angel. You got a rare drop beetroot. Excuse me? What do you mean rare drop beetroot? Whatever the beetroot was, I don't know where it went. Oh, here. Is it literally just beetroot? Hold on. Excuse me, spider. It's literally just beetroot. Okay, we're leaving. Let's go. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, don't mind me, guys. Just passing through here. Oh, there's a lot more to this than I thought there would be. <gasps> that was the most clutch block placement I've ever done. Okay. Oh my God. That and the fact that I have uh, feather falling saved me. <laughs> okay. I did have a water bucket, so we would have been mostly okay, I guess. I want to get out of here right now. Well, we go. Come on, buddy. Okay, we're up to the surface. Now, I did just realize that uh, we do have our waystone, but I think it's good that we got up to the surface either way so that we can use this port again. So here, we'll just mark this far, go home, and uh, yeah, we're gonna farm up some more coins. Um, we can make more of the torches. Bam, we got four more. I could put one here. It's possible the one that I had around here got removed because I am seeing a lot of gravestones here. I don't know, to be honest. This is a little bit tricky. I wish the torches were a bit more different than the regular type, but that's okay. I don't know, we'll put that one there. Maybe I can put this on top of the town hall. Yeah, because look, how is the slime getting over here? It should not be able to come here. That's the thing. Yeah, there we go. So maybe if we go one above and then place it there, that'll be good enough, hopefully. And then it would be good to have one like around here as well. And we're gonna keep expanding that as we go. Yeah, so we're slowly just gonna keep expanding on that. And then also we can finally complete our potato farm, I believe. Yeah, I got more than enough bone meal. And I also have our fortune two pickaxe, so I could actually use it to farm some of these. And let's get all these potatoes farmed. Very nice. And then I can fully plant it. Boom. There we go. And now we have a bunch of food to sustain us, which is awesome. Now, besides that, it would be nice to finally get this town hall built, for which let's see what we have to do do. We need dirt. Okay. So let's get all of these materials. And I do have a good amount of oak, but we are going to need a little bit more, it looks like. Okay. I should have enough oak now. Let's see if we can supply through here. Oh, it worked. Okay, good. So we can put all of the materials needed in here. Just need campfire, chest, hay bale, and vertical oak. Let's get those. 
I do need a hay bale. Oh, here we go. I'll just take more in case I needed more, but we have that. Also, campfire. Make one of those. Bam. Boom, 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 boom. And then we need a chest in vertical oak. Okay, so I'm putting all the things in, but it doesn't seem to work. Let's see if it works now. If not, we'll just have to directly put the stuff into the inventory. Yeah. So we'll just go to your inventory here and then do this. And that should fix our issues. Boom. Yes, perfect. Okay, so we have all the materials in and it seems like they are ready to start working. Perfecto, look at that. Okay, it's great to actually see this being built finally. Oh no, you don't slime. I have been here for too long. If you try to mess with my citizens, I am going to kill you like this. Oh my goodness, dude. You guys have got to go away. Oh, do you need something else? You need dirt? Why do you need dirt? Oh my goodness. Here's your dirt. Bam, a stack. Okay, happy, happy camper. So while that's being worked on, what else should I be doing? Now I have heard that we need a barracks tower or guard tower, I think it was called. Yeah, guard tower, here we go. And I would actually pursue more of this quest line, but it's a bit confusing. I know we need to fight and defeat a mob called Cirque, which spawns where witches spawn. And I know we can defeat some bosses, but that's uh, that's the extent of what I know. Like for example, the iron slime we can defeat. Don't know much more than that. It'd be nice if we had a more sustainable set of gear, that's for sure, because this isn't really gonna work if we wanna progress into the nether and the end. I mean, a uh, very solid strategy is always getting full diamond and enchanting at level 30, but how are we gonna get that without dangerously dying? I don't know, I guess we could take the risk and go mining for a bit, and that way we can try to find bosses with up upgraded um, pieces of gear for us. Now I do have some diamonds, that's good, because I would like to repair this chest plate if I could. I don't like this teleporting one. It throws me off quite a lot. So boom, but your inexperience has degraded what? I did not know that would happen. Um, apparently I'm inexperienced with something. I don't know what, but that messed me up. <laughs> Let's clear out this inventory. Yeah, sorting my chest is a whole other thing that maybe we should consider. Mostly should be good to go. I do like carrying extra pieces of gear, so I will do so. I'll carry a full extra set just in case. How did you get in? <gasps> oh, wow. So when they're riding this thing, they can get in. These guys aren't affected by the torches. That's pretty wild, actually. That's, uh, that's annoying. And how are, I don't know what's going on. I guess there's no torch over here because they're just walking around freely here. Hold on, maybe the villager removed the torch? He did. Yeah, you can't be doing that, pal. You're gonna get everybody killed. Ellen, just telling you the truth here. Bam, maybe we can place it there. Oh, there we go, the centerpiece. All land within one chunks of town hall has been claimed. Okay, that's good news. We still haven't unlocked any fame levels, so I need to check out how that works exactly. Oh, okay. So I searched it up and uh, yeah, it's, it's way harder than I thought. So you need to get like uh, 10 citizens for fame level one, 10 citizens for fame level two, and then for fame level three, you need 30 citizens. And then for fame level four, you need to have 400 villager trades. Like that's pretty crazy. Uh, so obviously that's, uh, that's hard to do within a hundred days, but I'll work towards that anyways. Now with the town hall and builder's hut done, what we could do is make some guard towers for sure. And just get that that's uh, starting to be worked on while I do some other things. And I have uh, not enough string to make another bow. So you know what? I guess we'll just stick with adventuring for a little bit and then we'll resume uh, upgrading more buildings. How about that? I think that is a good plan. Um, now I did want to go mining so that we could try to upgrade our gear more sustainably. And uh, that's not going to be a very easy thing. Like I'm kind of scared of it, but uh, I guess we shall go do it. So let's teleport out to far. I like this waypoint. And let's see what else we can find out here. Finally, there's a bunch of cows here, which I mean, I was looking for before and we couldn't find any. But at this point, we'll just uh, let them live. Mm, I guess there's a cave opening here we can enter. Oh, we found a mine shaft. Oh my God. It's like a witch enderman. Where to go? Okay, well, I don't know where the enderman went. Where are you? Is it following me? Oh yeah, it wants to attack me, doesn't it? Oh my God. Does it just keep duplicating? That's pretty crazy. Okay, no, it doesn't keep duplicating. That's good. Got it. Okay, let's look through this mine shaft real quick. Okay, yes. This main section is the best section. Oh! Oh, no, I didn't mean to break that. 
Dude, where is this coming from? Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna have my warp scroll ready. We did get one of the eyes. That's really good. That progresses us. Every time with these eyes, I hate the eye progressions in these packs, but it is what it is. Coin dragon. I feel like I've gotten this in a previous run of mine. I don't really know what they do. Look at this. They just fly around with you. It's kind of cute. And then you can pick it back up. So I'll kind of keep it with me. How about that? Nothing else that we need from there. And then the other chest just got completely blown up, which is uh, a little bit upsetting, but that's all right. Oh, hello. Excuse me. There's a spawner somewhere here, but I don't know where it is. Here's the string we needed. I guess that's a plus. Cave crawler chest plate. Magic damage multiplier. Whoa. It could have been good if we were into magic. Brilliant fade gem. That has something to do with dwarves and stuff. I'm not really uh, I'm not into the whole dwarf thing, you know? I mean, maybe at some point, but not right now. One thing I will say is we can use the heart container as an instant heal to full health. So, ow. I'll keep that on my bar. I'm not really finding much more in this mine shaft. So you know what? I am going to go down and let's try to find some diamonds. Here's a spawner. These are good for diamonds. Ooh, magic edge. I don't know what that is. Increases damage dealt and converts it to magic. Okay. So it makes us do some extra magic damage. Cool. Okay, now where are the diamonds at? That's what we are here for. What is going on here? Pick up. Grade mix, backpack, pick up items. I don't want that, to be honest. Oh my god. Spawner. Yeah, these are probably like our best bet at getting diamonds, actually. Another spawner. Mm -hmm. oh, some kind of a interesting bow there. What was that? Up to five items from killed mobs will teleport to you. This item's enchant ability is increased by 13. Snares target for four seconds on hit. That's not bad at all. Snaring targets. And then we got spawn eggs, which can let us um, make a creeper farm if we wanted to, because using the spawner scraps that we've been getting, we can combine them into empty spawners. That's an interesting bow though. If we can combine these, they might actually be pretty good. I do like the, the snare trait on that, because that'll, uh, I mean, if that works on everything, that would be overpowered. Anyways, I shall continue trying to get more diamonds. Truthfully, it is very difficult to naturally find diamonds in this world, it seems. Oh boy. These fellas actually spawn. Okay, got them. Break that. Oh, that's the, I think this is the mob that we needed to defeat. It is. Okay, that's good. Okay. I don't know. I hope this is what I'm supposed to do. She's not really fighting back. Uh, I'm, I don't know what's going on. I didn't really get an achievement for that, did I? Was I, I don't, I don't, I hope I wasn't supposed to do something else with it. Your guide to the supernatural Ars Ecclesia. Interesting. I don't know what that's a part of. Now, was there any item that was dropped by the Circa mob? Doesn't look like there was. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Unlocked Ars Nouveau. Wait, this, this remove, what? What did this just do? Why does this say minus half a heart? Spotting stuff, spots entities. Whoa, that was scary, dude. Jeez, man. Oh, nice. We got a boss. So these guys are usually nice to find. Oh, I just... Am I breaking something? What's going on? What's going on? Is he making it so I can only attack him like... What? I have no... I'm so confused. Okay, maybe if I use my bow. Oh, no, he did it to my bow, too. It's some trait on his armor. It breaks your weapons. Yeah, look at him. I almost got him, though. Got him. Oh, he dropped a legendary item. Are you kidding me? Oh, hold on. Look at this. Her sheep crease berserkers jewel axe of divinity, the god slayer. Your attacks have a 99.9% .9 chance to cleave three nearby enemies. Physical damage pierces armor. Leech efficiency mending mythic. Uh, nine attack damage, 20% overhealing, plus 5.71% current HP damage. I don't know if it actually does a lot more damage. No, I can't dual wield. Wow. Okay. Um, we just got a mythic level level weapon. That's uh, that's actually really rare. I'm curious to try this on some kind of a mob to see how effective it is, but that's uh, that's really cool. Let's see. So here we got Wolfman. Yeah, well, see, it doesn't do a crazy amount of damage, but it does overheal us. If we look at our hearts, oh my goodness. Look at our hearts. Oh boy. And it does cleave. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Wow. We have a lot of leech. My helmet's about to break, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm curious if us attacking with our sword while we have the axe equipped actually gives us the overheal as well. That would be insane. Oh, I can't shoot while I have that. Oh my goodness. Dual wield is pretty OP, but it doesn't give me overheal. Fair enough. Oh, 
we're so overpowered with this combo because with the sword we can attack really quickly and then with the axe we can heal whenever we want this might be a part that we have not looked through oh and by the way we did get a new trinket set enemies attacking you on fire rarity elite interesting another thing i just realized is this has leech so not only does it heal us with overhealing but it has leech as well oh my goodness silverfish spawning i don't want that okay we're still only at seven diamonds but i mean we've gotten a lot more than diamonds could offer oh my goodness hello wow there's a lot of these spells here goodbye this is a boss room i think right oh is it not a boss room usually this is a boss room so i'm kind of confused right now okay nope it's just a vex spawner but you know what actually with our axe we should be yep they're all dead because of our cleave what is this this is another dungeon like the one we found previously oh my goody so far so good what do we got in here necklace ring Doo -doo -doo. diamond that's good and veil that might be good when we go into the end it's a baby skeleton I hate babies. No, only baby mobs, okay? Not all babies. Okay, we've kind of adventured through all of this area. Yeah, even here we've adventured through. So we can head up and maybe we can adventure above ground for a bit. Bam, we're up to the surface. Ooh, we got this building. I do actually need a couple more levels because when we teleport, we are going to lose all of our levels. And I'm very curious as to how our axe can perform here. So I say we go for it. Let's see what we can do here. Evoker. Oh yeah, this cleave smashes everything. Oh, Hello. Witch hat. It'd be bad of me not to pick that up. I have to, you know? Oh, even my sword. <gasps> when I'm holding this axe, my sword has the same effect as it, where it attacks everything around me. Wow. Mm hmm. Some loot that already got broken. Oh, but we got more diamonds. Whoa. More basic ores. Nothing crazy. Whoa, holy water. Hunger five, but it also gives you everything else known to man. It even gives you a hero of the village. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I'll take it. I mean, why not? Wow. Well, that was uh, incredible to say the least. I, however, did not get the levels I was looking for. So, I mean, I guess I'll be forced to adventure a little bit more. There is a shipwreck here, actually, which I do know is a part of the quest line because there can be an item found that can lead you to a certain thing, I believe. I don't know. We'll see. Whoa, harpoon shot. See, Altar of Poseidon here. That's actually what we want. We're going to need to give it like some items. I don't know which ones though. Bury treasure map. We want that as well. I feel like the particles I'm seeing are sea serpent particles. So you know what? I'm just going to leave. Let us teleport right on back home. Boom. Altar of Poseidon. Where do we want? I mean, we can put this right here maybe. Yeah, there we go. Poseidon. Hello, buddy. So he is holding like a conch shell or something. Let's see if I like give him an emerald. Oh, okay. He likes that. I give you a couple diamonds. I don't know how many gifts I need to give him for him to appreciate my gifts. Like, as you can see, I gave him a pretty good amount of stuff just now. He didn't really have much of a reaction. What about iron? No, he doesn't like iron. I'm not going to give him any more diamonds, okay? <laughs> about gold? No. Okay. You know what? We need books because I want to make a level 30 enchanting table. I have 24, 27. But that's not going to be enough. Let's see. Where can we get books? Here, actually. Maybe. There we go. Okay, 51 books. That's definitely enough. Okay, well, let's chop some trees down real quickly. Oh, yeah. Efficiency 3 feels good. And guess what? <laughs> the durability is not going down. And where do we want to place this? Do we have space up here? Yeah, we... No, no, we don't really. Let's be honest. Not ideal. Yeah, I won't risk it. I'll put it outside. Yeah, I guess I'll just put it like right here. I don't know if I'll regret that later, but for now, this seems like an okay thing to do. Bam. And now we can make our pieces of gear and let's see what we can get here. Oh, it's not even fully <laughs> level 30. What's going on? Am I being messed with here? Excuse me. Still not level 30. Um, okay, maybe I need to place it a bit differently. What if we place it like this? Nope. Okay, I need more bookshelves. That probably has some bookshelves in it, actually, so we can head up there real quick. Might even be some just in this little house here, which would be easier to take from. Yes, here we go. That is four more bookshelves. That should be enough. I will, however, still check out this place because I think we have not looked at it, but I'm pretty sure it's a village. 
<gasps> oh, no, 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 no. I'm wrong. Oh, no. Not a village. Okay. Look at this, though. We destroy everything. I'm not going to fool around here right now. And one, two, three. Even that should be enough. Yeah, there we go. Unbreaking three is not bad. I just have a limited amount of levels to use right now. Okay. Bag of souls. What does that do? Bag of souls. Increases the maximum number of souls that can be carried. Interesting. Not really a win on either here, but we'll just go for it. Oh, literally only lightning focus and... Yeah, those were not good either. Well, okay. It is what it is. At least we have full diamond armor. And I do actually have an idea. Endless quiver. Here we are. Makes all arrows infinite. So that's really good. On top of that, we have this epic bow. So I'd like to see. Can we combine that with that? Yes, we can. And then, okay, it just got degraded. True shot to level two. Okay, seems like we kept everything on there. So now I'd like to do that, but I need more levels. Okay, we'll wait. But uh, in the future, we can definitely make a pretty powerful bow. So that's exciting. Also, we can enchant this bow before even doing that. That probably would have been a good idea. Um, whoops. I'm going to fully clear out our inventory here. And I'm kind of feeling like we're ready to go fight the iron slime boss. So we should be able to teleport and have the iron slime already be near us. But I don't remember which teleport that was. Maybe I'll just have to use our coordinates. Oh, here we go. Iron slime. Okay, so, whoa, what's going on here? Someone's holding like a coin. Okay, I won't kill those fairies. Um, let's sleep off the night first of all. Oh, hello, folks. Oh, well, they're not running, which is good. They're still not trading with me. That's insane. But anyways, we can head down. I mean, I'm guessing we head down, right? There's no way it's above ground. And uh, we get ready to fight the Iron Slime boss. I've never fought this fellow before, so I really don't know what I can expect. I do hear noises. Water down here. There we go. Here's water. But I mean, that doesn't really help us find the boss, does it? Here's a chest. Uh, huh. Okay, I'm not really sure how to pinpoint where this boss is. I don't think it's going to be too easy. I'm refreshing my chunks to see if that'll help. I do see a chest up there. Oh, and I see crazy particles over this way. Maybe it's this way. I don't know. Let's see. Sometimes you have to pull out the old veteran tricks, you know? Oh, that's just a Enderman, but he's not attacking me good because he's legendary, which I don't want to mess with. Okay, so I did just search it up, and it appears that there's a structure above ground that spawns. Additionally, there is a villager that you can spawn to help you out. Oh, no, no, that's what I did not want to happen. I hit the Enderman with my cleave. I'm lucky that uh, it's kind of weird around us and it's hard for the Enderman to get here. I don't really want to fight him, but um, yeah, I'd rather not fight him, to be honest. So I'm just going to try to leave. Oh, I just heard him teleport again. And there was a spider attacking me. Oh my god, dude. It teleported again. Okay. Let's just try to kill this guy now. Ugh. I hate this guy. Did he just teleport here again? No way. Oh my god, there he is. Got you now. Oh man, he teleported again. Dude, this is not a normal Enderman pathing. Like... I'm just trying to get out, you know? Let's see. There should basically kind of be a mineshaft looking type of entrance. You know what? I've decided that I'll use our map. Oh, wait, and hold on. This is the, the entrance right here. I'm not sure how I didn't see this before. I guess it's kind of hiding behind a house, but this is it. That is where the iron slime is. Let us sleep off the night. Okay, well, I guess let's go fight the iron slime then. Here we go, down the lonely entry. There's a chest here. Is that a iron block? It is. There's multiple iron blocks here. Is this a trapped chest? Surprisingly, it's not. Oh, okay. I am very, very um, skeptical, you could say. Oh, there we go. All right. What was that, dude? How, what just happened? That's scary, man. Got mining fatigue down here. That's not a plus. Oh, boy. Okay. Maybe that was the spawning animation. Okay, here we go. Iron slime. Now, I'm pretty sure... Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Pretty sure I can't actually hit it with anything other than a pickaxe, maybe? Hold on. How do I hit this thing? Am I hitting it or no? No, I'm not hitting it. And I don't have any arrows. Um, Can I mine it? Oh, I can. Okay. You have to hit it with a pickaxe. <laughs> oh, wow. It regenerates so quick. Are you regenerating, dude? Maybe I need the the special map item to take it out? Is that what it is? Oh, I literally can't take it out. How long did I start recording for? Oh no. Okay, wait, let me check. I forgot to unpause my recording for a while. Oh, I'm still fighting the iron slide. Okay, but what happened was uh, I basically ran this pickaxe dry and that's because uh, I basically need to spam click 
And so I made two new pickaxes. I went back home and made two new pickaxes and I'm still trying, okay? That's the recap. It's the best I can do. But it basically has phases and it'll keep regenerating to its full health of that phase until you fully eliminate that phase in one go. But if you don't, it just keeps regenerating. And I'm really struggling here on this phase. No, this is crazy. This is actually insane. Oh no, I'm actually done, dude. Go, 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 spam click. Oh, oh, it's small. Ow. Oh my God, it does so much damage. Can I hit it with my sword now? Oh, I can. Oh, I got it. Ow. The heart containers are what was saving me and I used them all. I used four of them. They fully heal your health in one go. Oh, okay. Forgotten four man's pickaxe. What does this do? Oh, it removes your health when you wear it. But what else does it do? Efficiency two. The first item eaten. That's unbreakable. Uh, knockback resistance is reduced by 90%, but you get 25% speed when carrying this and it's unbreakable. And it is better than my diamond pickaxe. Oh, and I just got a trinket, magneto. But by the sound of that, that's just going to magnetize items, which I don't care about. Okay, ore detector. How does this work? Do I have to point to a specific item? Oh, look, it's cycling through ores. I want diamond. Oh, there's so many ores. Oh, here we go, diamond ore. How do I use this? Searching diamond ore. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of iron around here. Look at this. Nine. 18, 27 pieces of iron, just like that, and 36. And I got 35 blocks of iron. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's start getting on out of here and mining iron along the way. Okay, we're out of there. Let's return home. We're starting to slowly outgrow this house of ours. We can't really move out anymore because of our mine colonies thing, which by the way, I kind of forgot about this for a while. Hello. Okay, they want guard towers is something that's being brought up a lot this guy wants a job and a restaurant and so many things like are you kidding me like oh okay but we will uh we'll get working on the guard towers i kind of want to break from the adventuring otherwise i'm gonna have a panic attack out here okay i'm gonna remove the mini map maybe i'll use it again in the future anyways i can put a little bit more storage here and uh, use a coin dragon here maybe i'll name him billy the coin dragon there you go billy yeah. What? I don't know where I'm getting Dynamo 7 from or what that's doing, but I'm a bit confused right now. Adds damage to the next attack after jumping or dodging. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. How are we going to work on like keeping our gear maintained? Because that's an issue. I mean, we could try to get mending, but the problem is we can't even trade with villagers. Yeah. So on the front of villagers, we're just going to need to defeat more illagers to uh, raise our reputation with them, which we can try to do. We might need to go get some more diamonds or something so that we can repair, do the raid and then hopefully have enough reputation to get a mending trade. Until that point, though, I say we quickly work on guard towers. Here we go. Guard tower. Boom. We want the two. No! I just used my good bow by accident. No! I do have the other epic bow, and we can enchant that one. But we lost the infinite arrow. Oh my god. I messed up on so many levels. Let's build a guard tower. I feel like one guard tower on the edge here here would be pretty nice. And then the other one, and probably the most important, is having one in this general area. Um, I guess we could do it like in this corner. We do want to space them out. It would be nice to have defenses all around our mine colony rather than only on the edges, for example. Like right here. This looks pretty good. Let's say good to that and let us build building. We do need to construct multiple things actually. So I'm just going to start the next one right away as well, which honestly, like right here would be good if we can do it. Kind of seems like we can get away with it right now. So boom, that's another one. Let's get this one building as well. Who is our builder? They're in the builder's hut. Hello. Okay, here we go. Guard tower. So cobblestone torch, some oak, not a lot. Looks good. So we mainly need more cobblestone, which I might already have actually. I'm just going to check. Oh, cobblestone. It looks like I don't actually have any more. So yeah, we'll go mine some. Okay, that's uh, more than a few stacks of cobblestone, so we can head out. I also need a little bit of oak. Okay, 
Okay, should be good to go. There we go. Cobblestone oak. Cobblestone stair. Oak button. Oak door. Fence. Ladder. Okay, let me try to remember all this stuff. There we go. That should be all the materials that we need. But I'll have to put them directly in the inventory of our builder here. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't know. <gasps> oh, I didn't make it high enough. Oh, no, 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 no. Cancel, 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 cancel. <gasps> I messed up. I think I built it into the ground. I was wondering why it was so short. Okay, that's my bad, Everly. I'm sorry. Sorry to make you dig yourself into a hole. Ah, that's my bad. Um, so we're gonna replace this. And we need to get Everly out of this hole somehow because otherwise I just don't think that's a great thing to do to someone, you know? Oh, there's a goblin trader. Hello. Okay, I don't know. We'll just uh, cover this with cobblestone for now. Oh, that doesn't mean that... Oh, yep, there we go. I was just gonna say that uh, the other one has the exact same issue. So let's break this. Okay, now we should go up. Oh my goodness. There we go. Much better. Wait, right? Right? Am I wrong? I think I'm going crazy, guys. I think I'm going crazy. No, wait, it was correct. Why is that a part of the build? Why do you need to dig down into... I don't know anymore, dude. I'm being a noob. I'm being a big noob right now. That's what's happening. And it's nighttime. Uh, Okay, I'd actually prefer to have a guard tower right here. This is where we will put it. Okay, perfect. Guard tower here. And we'll start getting it built. We'll also go back to where we were building this one. We'll have it like that. Okie dokie. And our builder is on the run. Okay, let's throw the junk out and fill your inventory up with some important stuff. There we go. Oh, and you're leaving again. What do you need this time? Uh, oak buttons and oak trap doors that's what you need okay there we go so that's gonna get built let's see so we also need to keep our citizens happy house restaurant okay so maybe we could do a restaurant oh man somebody died again <laughs> it's okay we're working on this we're working on this i wish i could put a border around so that my citizens do not leave let's see how big a restaurant is Pretty big. Yeah, I reckon we can build it here. Oh, but actually we'll need to back it up. Yeah, like that. There we go. Because the town hall will continue getting upgraded, I believe. So like somewhere like this is how we would want to build this. We can also upgrade our builder's hut. There we go. And we've got a bunch of things lined up. So that's the good news. I guess the next most useful thing for us to do would be to engage in a raid, which isn't really going to be easy to do, but uh, we got to do what we got to do. So let's do it. Oh yeah, we had the issue with the armor, right? I figure what I can try to do is get away with repairing as little as possible. Also, I do have our additional set of gear. So that'll hold us over, hopefully. Uh, yeah, so I'd like to look for a raid to take on. That would be very, very nice. We can still try to do the one that was happening in that villa. Oh my god. Okay, we can try to kill him quick, because otherwise he'll explode. And I killed my coin dragon. I'm sorry, buddy. That was bound to happen. <laughs> Let us head into that village that we know has a raid going on, and let's try to take it on if we can. Now, I do have a huge suspicion that these raiders are underground, um, which means there's a cave system somewhere, and and, uh, I mean, the best thing we can do is just kind of run around and try to hunt them down. The bell doesn't really work when they are down low. I heard them somewhere. This way. I hear them this way. Aloha. Oh, my God. Holy moly, dude. I should be okay from here. Wow. That was... This guy, like, literally almost one chummy. Goblin trader. Not now, buddy. Did you not just see what happened? Oh, is he smart or something? Like, why is he not coming at me right now? Okay. We can slowly build out words. Oh, yeah. Now I gotcha. Gotcha. Ooh, you will leap back when blocking in melee. It gives you plus three hearts and speed as well. That's pretty nice perks. And a protection three iron chest plate. Where's the second pillager, though? Up to the surface we go. Okay, now this is kind of feeling like a lost cause. Because I have no idea where this last one is. I mean, I can... Oh, I can try to use the mini-map. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him. He's down here. Oh, hello. Oh, my dual wield is not working for some reason. Okay, it works again. Okay, let's go. Up we go, up we go. Yeah, I hear the bells, folks. I hear the bells. Okay, here we go. Where are the mobs at? Okay, over here. Let's go. Goodbye. Oh my goodness. Being thrown around. This guy looks a bit scary. Who is... What is going on here? Who are these guys? 
What? I don't know what's going on anymore, dude. Oh my goodness. Come here. You're dead. Put him on my dying. I can't equip it. That kind of sucks. Okay. Wait, why did the raid sign go away right now? What are you talking about? Where did the raid sign go? No. Well, that's a fail. Oh, that thing. I don't know how this will react to me attacking it. Actually, not that bad. Especially with my axe. Okay. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. No, my reputation's already ruined now again. I've been working so hard and I just killed... Oh, this just killed villagers. This cleave kills villagers. No, no. Did I kill... Oh, I'm gonna go crazy. I just killed two more villagers. I probably killed all the villagers. That's probably why the raid stopped because I was on the side of the raid, not the villager. Okay, hello. Okay, he doesn't hate me, which is a good thing, but I'm realizing now we're not gonna be able to use what I wanted to use for raids. We're gonna have to just stick to using like the sword. Let's begin running around and looking for another raid. Oh my goodness. Ooh, we got something special here. This is a spirit orb thing that you can uh, turn your spirit orbs into rather. And I guess it gives you stamina, which I'm a bit confused about. Maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe that helps with our dodge and stuff like that. Yeah, now we've made it back to the water like always, which is my number one enemy. You know what? It's possible we'll have to try try to take on a sea serpent, if anything. Uh, I have no idea how that'll go down, but you know, we might just have to do it literally in melee range because I don't want to be stuck. You know, I want to be able to keep adventuring. And we got a sky structure here. Oh no. Okay, I'm getting seduced over here, which honestly, I actually need these guys because they drop shiny scales. They have a lot more health than I remember them having also. Seems to be a few things underwater here that I did not see before. We got this. Maybe we can uh, give it a little quick check out. We are getting some weird noises though. I don't like these guys. My healing isn't working. It doesn't feel good to have 80 million enemies against you, I'll tell you that much. I know you all want a piece of me, but we gotta slow it down here. I'm in high demand, you know? Oh my God, they're gonna break my gear at this rate. I gotta go. Go, 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 go. You could say that that was not good and you'd be right. I mean, it appears like I may need to go... Oh, but now something's shooting me with arrows. Okay. Even though I want to find a raid, I honestly don't have enough resources to do anything right now. My gear is just gonna break. I should keep checking these wizardry towers because like it or not, they do have some great gear to offer us. Not this time though. Here we go, we got another village here. And back home we go. Ancient scale, look at that. Sea scale, chest plate, sea scale helmet. Some interesting pieces of gear. I'm going to throw on our extra set of armor right now. I can use that instead of the other one. And let me see if I can repair our fortune two pickaxe. Yes, I can. Let's go mining. Are you serious? I will go crazy playing this pack. It's, it's going to happen. It's a matter of when, really. Because are you kidding me? How did a fire start? Let's continue on with what we need to do, which is getting diamonds. And I guess let's actually mine into this mountain. Why not? Got a very snowy cave here. That is a boss, I reckon. In which case, we need to be extra careful right now. There we go, blocked him off, perfect. Gotcha, frozen bone, interesting. Ooh, look at those boots, opulent shield, reckless six. That's gonna take off all my health, yeah. I don't like that at all. It does give me dynamo seven though, which is pretty crazy. And it gives me speed aura four. Yeah, these are pretty insane boots, but they are gonna be very difficult to use and survive with, so. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. A few interesting items in there, but nothing that I want. Ooh, this is a uh, good base stats on that chest plate. And Ironhide Amulet, this is a really good amulet actually, provides a major boost to defense. So boom, we can put that in our second artifact slot. Yeah, it gives us resistance two for 10 seconds, which is definitely useful. A lot of lava here, which is usually a good sign. Also looks like, oh boy, got some kind of a dungeon this way. This seems to be no joke, whatever this is. Let me see here. Oh no, nothing crazy. Oh, that's a monster spawner. Yeah, those are really bad. I'd rather not deal with that. We don't know what spawned there. Yeah, see, this is this is why I got out of there. Diamonds. Boom, nine diamonds from that. Not bad, not bad. 
Whoa, whoa. <gasps> I don't know what that was. Maybe, you know what? It's It just pulled like a Medusa thing on me or something. I'm so lucky that the totem of my dying worked even though it wasn't in my hand. Not gonna lie to you, that one was very scary. Diamond boots that are actually pretty good. Better than the ones I have. Thank you. Ooh, we got more diamonds. And these underwater caves tend to have a lot of diamonds. Boom. There we go. They are hard to get. That's the annoying part. But at least there are diamonds to get. So, yeah. Perfect. We can just mine them from right here. Oh, and there are more. Don't mind if I do. Oh, there's so many. Okay. Let's see if I can find any more down here. Yeah, I mean, at this rate. Oh, here we go. This is amazing. Is the squid attacking me or what just happened? Anyways, what I'm saying is at this rate, getting levels is going to be the harder part. But we could actually set up a spawner if we'd like. There we go. Oh yeah. Look at this. And with that, I'm up to 27 diamonds. This has been an amazing cave to find. More diamonds. Literally. Just mine in underwater caves. That's the strat. Always. Remember that. Oh my goodness. It just, it keeps getting better. It just doesn't stop. Like, what can I tell you? I can honestly be pretty happy with 30 diamonds. Oh, hello, overworld. Goodbye, sea, because I'm not going to be there for any more than a few seconds. That's a dragon. Yep, 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 yep. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. This is a bit hard to navigate, but we will do it. I'm pretty far underground, which is good. The bad thing is that I'm out of food, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm completely out. If I could somehow find a chest or two, that would be great. Here we go. Here's a mine shaft. Is this a chest? It is. We got food here. We got heart pieces, so, I mean, that's kind of nice. Golden apple. I'm not seeing food, however. It's a heart piece and a golden apple. Yeah, in this pack, the lower you go, the slower you start mining. And, uh, yeah, we have mining fatigue and slowness down here which really is not helping the cause. These diamonds will, though. Now I'm more worried about just getting back with the diamonds, man. I'm at three and a half food. Oh my goodness, that flower hurts. There's more mine shaft over this way. And more diamonds again. It seems like when you go to low uh, hunger, your game starts looking duller because my game looks real dull right now. Not enjoying the look of it. One plus side to everything is that we do have an unbreakable pickaxe. So theoretically, we can mine as far away from the dragon as we want without having any issues on that front. I guess that's what I'm going to start doing. And I'll do it at a level where we can get diamonds as well. Just because why not? So away we go. My food's dropping very quickly. I really do need something to eat right now. Rice. Can I do anything with rice? My game saturation is falling so much. I might need to kill a bat, even though they're friendly to me. I got the bat. Bat wing. Yes. Can I cook it up? Monster stew. Ooh. If I had rotten flesh, that'd be so good. I'm going to try to save it. Let's try to find a zombie or some other mobs. If there was something I could bone meal, that'd be good. I do hear... Oh, yeah, Minotaur. Looks like he's charging up. He also seems to be stuck. I think these guys drop rotten flesh, I think. Where did... Oh, no. I don't see any rotten flesh. Is there squid meat? squid meat. There's calamari. Okay, we need to kill the squid and the fish. We need to kill fish and squid. I think only squid. This is gonna ruin my animal reputation, but obviously right now we don't really have a choice, do we? Oh, they actually hurt when you come near them. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm starting to drown also. I do have one heart container, which is good. They're not dropping food. One strategy is trying to go up to the surface right now. That might be my last hope of survival. I don't know how far we actually ended up getting away from the dragon, but I don't seem to have much of a choice here. Okay, here we go. I'm in the same area. Looks like we're okay right now. The dragon might come to life in the nighttime. That might be why it started attacking me last time. I actually don't know the answer to that though. So let's go. Here we go. Like onions or something. Carrots. Even better. Whew. Okay. Wow. Well, you could say that that was closer than I would have liked. We are alive. That was bad. What is this? Is this a pillager outpost? If it is, that's actually a good thing because if I can get the raid effect, we can make use of that later. But I don't know if there's any captains in here. Yeah, there does seem to be a spawner. Yeah, well, it does spawn on illagers, just not captains, I don't think, or raid leaders, whatever you want to call them. Aha, here we go, village. 
and back home we go. Okay, that was not easy. I can't lie to you. That was actually quite stressful. I wonder if I can repair this plate helmet with iron. Oh, I can. Okay, it's not a bad thing to do. And then chest plate, we just want to repair this one. That's about it though, actually. I would still like to do a raid. Maybe I'll try to make some golden apples before then. So I'll go and break some trees and hopefully apples will drop. Ah, here we go. Apples are dropping. That's what I'm looking for. Yes, there we go. Exactly what we need. And that's nine apples, which is pretty good. Ooh, we even got 10. That's a fair bit to use for a raid. And there we go, 11 golden apples. Okay, now what's gonna be the best approach, I wonder? It has been really difficult to travel through the ocean, like quite impossible. What I can try to do is really swim through the ocean and not stop for anything. Like even if I see blatant like eight chests underwater like not stop for anything that might give us a little bit more safety oh yeah there's another sea serpent that's being loaded in okay let's go in this direction through the ocean we go to meet many friendly sea serpents along the way let's go 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 okay i see land which is a good sign unless it's like a small island but it seems like it's more than a small island so yes that's good that went a lot better than i thought it would have there's like a mine shaft or just like a little loot place but we're not gonna go there. We're gonna keep on walking on the land. Oh, is it an illager camp? Yes, it is. That's exactly what I was looking for. We can mark that down because here we're gonna have a raid leader spawn. And then we just need to bring that right back to a village that we already know exists. And I'm attacking all of them at once, which is kind of useful, I'd say, wouldn't you? There we go. Clearing the house. Is there something up top here? It seems like there most definitely can be. And I can't dual wield when I'm shifting. Okay. Okay, we're doing pretty good. There we go. Goodbye. And corrupted eye. That's a new eye. Dark chest plate. Look at this. Eight armor, two armor toughness. Not bad. That's on the level of diamond. So we can take that. I do still need to get the bad omen effect, I think. Even though I did get the ominous banner. Well, we will wait for the captain to spawn. Oh, also it's nighttime. We're going to sleep that off. And I hear an evoker trying to fight me. Please let me sleep off the night first. Thank goodness. Where did that evoker attack me from? I don't even know at this point. Oh, here we got a raid captain. And I didn't get the bad omen effect did i okay i don't know what's going on with that oh villagers are not willing to trade with you no way we did it hold on let me get a few additional villager kills just to make sure that we keep that reputation high but that's great that's all i wanted really so i mean i guess if we can't get the battle win effect we won't do a raid that's all good I'm curious as to what that is over there. Oh, there are enemies. This is not a safe zone. Industrial espionage. Find a quarry or mines. This is the thing we were looking for, I think. Oh, look at this. Okay, wait, this is the quarry. This is not the mines. But wow, might as well have found this. This is even cooler. Okay, we can discover a little bit of this. Why not? Mm, there does seem to be a spawner here or something. I don't know where, though. Maybe they automatically spawn here. Anyways, I'm going to get this wheat. And there's a fella in here. Got him good. Iron sort of wounding. Okay. Rabbit stew. The rabbit stew just gave me like an increased jump boost. Oh, I've reached peak physicality, but hold on because I'm being poisoned right now. Peak physicality. Interesting. What does that mean? Oh, whoa. I can dodge a bunch. I see. I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess. Oh, yeah. Efficiency three shovel. I'll actually take that. And fortune two shares. Why not? Okay. What can we do about these mines here? I'm wondering if there's actually any crazy loot to get. I uh, guess that's something we can slowly discover, but we really need to be careful. I don't love the fact that I can't really shoot at these guys, especially if they can shoot at me like that. Coal and iron here, but I don't really need either of those. <laughs> that guy's in a minecart. And it looks like I need to replace place my helmet. I do want to adventure into here, but we're going to take a pause and do that in a little bit. There's a couple of things I'd like to do instead for now. Now, I'd like to get mending, and I'd also like to continue once again working on our mine colony. That's what I would do, like to do first, just to take a break from all this action. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. We're going to need to repair this, but I'll do that in a moment. Boom, boom. We need some more materials for our guard tower. Okay, we need a lot of oak, it looks like like oak button oak door oak fence slab ladder trap door okay 
Okay, I think I have all the materials needed, so I just need to pass them all on to this fella. There we go. And you need shears. Here you go. Okay, that should be all set up. Yes. Now I'm wondering if I can get another builder hired somehow. Oh, wow. This one has not been built yet. I didn't realize that. Okay. You must construct this hut before you can hire a worker. It doesn't seem like it's letting me do two buildings at once. Excuse me. You can't be doing this. Why are you so rude? Let's see what happens if I come up to someone and try to make them builder like that. Hello? No, I can't uh, find a way to make a uh, second builder, so it is what it is. Yeah, I need more torches around here. While I'm waiting for that to get built, let's see if I have any more coins. Yeah, this is not going to work. Ooh, 47 coins. That's good. Okay. I need coins. Whole interdiction porch. Boom, boom. There we go. Okay, four more torches. I can probably make some more, but this is already progress. So I've noticed a lot of friends coming over this way. I can't kill them, can I? Maybe we can put this here. Oh, he's finished. Nice. Okay, this isn't exactly doing what I want it to, but I'll put one here. And then we'll put one here. I don't know, dude. Here. Definitely, I should put one here. That's for sure. He started working on another guard tower. That's good. He probably needs more resources again. Yeah, so. So just rinse and repeat. Give this fella his cobblestone, buttons, slabs, and trapdoors. Slabs, trapdoors. Boom. I have all the materials needed for the second guard tower now. If I just give it to him, bam, bam, and bam. That should be everything. We got a fella over here. Looks like maybe we have a guard or something. Let's see. I need a sword to continue working. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's get you a sword, my friend. Cool. So we got a guard now. Oh, and they want leggings, boots, helmet, chest plate. Oh, no. We don't want you to die, bud. Oh, this guy's gonna die. Looks like Cameron needs leather, though, which is a bit difficult for me to get. Oh, floating slime. I was finding a lot of leather earlier. I know that the mushroom guys drop it. I have two pieces. I don't think I have much more, to be honest. Yeah, I have four. Maybe it's time to start fighting off some animals in order to farm the things we need, because, I mean, I don't really want to go on not being able to get the materials I need any longer. So, yeah. Um, I can teleport far out here and whenever I see some cows like, like this, we will take them out. I'm sorry, fellas. Okay, I'm not really finding any more cows here, and I don't want to move away from this point. I don't know. Let's see if there's anything in this little castle here. There's a horse, which I could make mount of mine if I wanted to. Iron, red stew, apples. Seems like there isn't really any leather in these chests. Wow, there's like a underground section though, which is cool, but nothing here either. Oh, what is going on around here? Oh, that's a skeleton. Hello. There's a chest. Nope, still nothing. Okay, I'll head out of here. Oh, and it's nighttime. I will sleep. Oh, what is that? Hold on. This gives me Woodland Mansion vibes, which it might be in some area of, or of like a huge pillager outpost. One of those, I think. Kind of feels like a mix of the two, really. Yeah, well, here we got villagers coming at us already. Illager power. Okay, interesting. What's scary about this is that these villagers can mine, which is not a normal thing. Yeah, you hear that? I hear them all. Oh my god, something of mine just broke. My helmet broke, but it's okay. I don't really need it right now. And I'm curious as to if I can find anything else in here. Let's try to approach this carefully. They're everywhere in the walls, huh? It's kind of scary. The problem with this is they just keep spawning. Let's see if I can find anything of use up here. Okay, I see how it is. Okay, this is bad, obviously. We're okay, though. I also cannot take fall damage, which is a really a good thing. I wonder if I can somehow get him from here. Yes, perfect. He's going right where I need him to. Oh, now he's levitating. How the tables have turned. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Was that like the boss of this building? Oh, and I still got hit. Okay. Oh, instant damage arrows. If I can combo this with the enchantment that lets me use any type of arrow with my shots, that would be pretty crazy. I think that was Endless Quiver. I mean, I can try going up a level. Let's eat a golden apple in preparation. My armor is good enough. Okay. I don't see anything here other than chests. Mm -hmm. Nothing special there. Interesting. I don't know if this is like some type of a puzzle or what. Okay. Now here we're going to definitely golden apple. That's like a Lord of the Rings is looking painting. Oh my god, that's a boss. Kind of have him trapped here. Well, I mean, I gotta tell you, that was that was cool. Works for me. He didn't really drop any anything cool. We got some bows. Diamond sword. Why not? Efficiency. Three pickaxe. I probably won't need that. Enchanted golden apple. That's great. We got a bunch of enchanted weapons here. And some ores, which I'll take. 
that would seem to be it for the loot. I don't know if there's anything hiding somewhere, but I don't see it. So with that, we can leave. I can go to a different teleport. Ooh, this one's underground though. This one? Because I'd like to find some more cows and get more leather. And by the way, we can now... No! I did it again! It was in my offhand. Oh, okay, thank God. I can still trade with villagers in the iron golem. Doesn't seem to hate me. This guy's trades are obviously worse. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I need to stop making that mistake. I could trade with villagers, so I got a bit too excited about that, obviously. I've reached a snow biome here, which I'm a little bit interested in. Maybe we can find some cows here. I am also checking out all of these houses that we're finding. I'm hoping I can get some leather. Oh, this is a gatekeeper's house, though. This is where you can get portal to another dimension. Okay, no loot here, really. There, maybe that building has leather. We can check it out. Got some diamonds here, which is nice. An undead army is approaching from the north. Oh, this is a bad time for an undead army. I gotta tell you the truth. I'm really not prepared. Oh, no. I mean, I can try my best, but I have very limited armor right now. Yeah, no, 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 no. My gear is definitely gonna start breaking if I do this right now. At this point, I think going underground and like fighting mentors is gonna be more beneficial than trying to find any cows. Let's try to repair some gear here. And we're just gonna go helmetless for now. Let's see if we can find some of these minotaurs. Okay, we found a cave. Fighting the wither in this pack uh, seems to be pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie to ya. Okay, here we got a boss. Eliza the Mighty, or the Nifty. Oh, yeah, there's the niftiness. Okay, that's not gonna work. I can't approach this boss one-on-one. -on -one. Definitely not. This boss does not want to move from that spot, unfortunately. These bosses are hard, man. They're no joke. There we go. Okay, we're done. Holy moly. Interesting chest plate. Ooh, okay. Well, I did need a helmet, so I'll put that on. This gives you extra five health, basically. Not bad. Oh, what is the lucky explorer? Chance to spawn emeralds with every block explored. Interesting. I wonder how many emeralds we'll be getting from that. We're at 23 emeralds now, so I'll just keep it in mind. I don't know if the minotaur can actually spawn in this snowy kind of biome, unfortunately. But I do need food, I just realized. I need food pretty badly. Okay, I guess let's teleport home. Boom. And I have a bunch of food smelting. Okay, maybe I can just uh, mine really close to our base and we can see if any minotaurs have spawned here. I think I do hear a uh, minotaur guy. I do. I don't know if he's above me, below me. Oh, there he is. There's our friend. Oh, and he's teleporting. Is he a boss? And a dodo vessel greatly reduces the duration of negative effects. Wow, that's really useful. Oh, I already have 64 emeralds. Wow. Yeah, I can guarantee you that Lucky Explorer works very well. Holy moly. Look, I already got another one just from walking for like two seconds. Three. What? Four. <laughs> If I find a way to run as fast as possible, I will be able to take full advantage of this. And because we're so close to our base, the guard tower got finished. That's great. Ooh, and they're starting to work on the builder's hut. That's good. I do need to supply the resources for that, though. Yeah, you know what I should have been doing this whole time is loading the chunks while I'm gone. And I'm going to do that now. I was afraid it would lag the game, but as we can see, everything's getting done within our mine colony at this rate. Here we go. That's another one down. More leather. Aha, here we go. I don't like the look of what's going on down there, though. Gotcha. Still at nine leather. Okay, this is taking way too long to get a simple guard some simple armor. So I'm just gonna head back up to the surface and I guess we'll make him some boots and a helmet and that's it. Okay, let's make a leather helmet, leather boots, and we're gonna give that to our guard. Not much more past that though. Oh no, we have a second guard now too. Okay, in that case, let's give this guy a helmet. Okay, he's a seasoned veteran. And then this guard. Oh, this one wants a bow. Well, we can give him boots first of all. Okay, let's get you a bow, Julian. Now, how do I actually equip a helmet onto him? Because it's not going on. Oh, I, he registers that he does have a helmet. Okay. Oh, there we go. He put on the helmet. Okay, and we can give our other guard his bow. Here we go. Roll charge. Boom. Excuse me. I gave you a bow. Oh, it looks like he needs an enchanter's bow specifically. That's pretty crazy. Oh, my goodness. Um, okay. Getting a enchanted bow like that is going to be a bit difficult. You need an enchanting apparatus, a glyph of projectile, so 
resource gem block. Maybe I can look into it, but honestly, I don't really want to deal with it. I'm not gonna lie to you. It would be nice to upgrade our builder's hut here just because it's broken. Oh, he wants a rack or two. Okay. He is asking for racks, so we can give him a couple of those and see what happens. Maybe that is what's required to create bigger builds. So let's see. One, two. There we go. Can I give you those racks and you do something with them, my friend? Oh, I've started working on the builder's hut. There we go. Oh, here we go. Now we have the material list. So cobblestone. Whoa, there are so many specific things here. Look at this. So we need some oak and then some stone types, like literally one polished die, right? One polished granite. Oh man. Well, let's start working on it, I guess. I'll do the basics first, which is just the oak and the cobblestone stuff. Okay, that's oak done. And now we can grab some cobblestone. Okay, that should be enough cobblestone, about three stacks. Okay, let's see if I can actually put the resources in as we should be able to. Is it a miracle? It looks like it is. The materials are actually going in, it looks like. I almost can't believe it. Boom, need more polished andesite and oak stuff. Okay, boom, boom. Okay, so now I need a bunch of one-off things. I'm gonna get all of these done real quick. Boom, I think I made the stuff we need. Oh, I need four more. <laughs> Okay, that's that's not a bad problem. So I figured it out. Okay, here we go. Wool, polished granite, and oh, I needed polished. What's the other one? Diorite. And this is why I got the stone cutter because we can just use one to make polished diorite. Bam. Okay, well we'll give them that, and then I guess we'll sleep off the night real quick. Finally, boom, boom, boom. We just need eight core dirt. Oh, nope, okay, we're done. So that's good. We now can try to trade with villagers and get a mending trade, I think. And I mean, we're doing really good on emeralds because of this lucky explorer enchantment. I mean, I'm getting stacks and stacks of emeralds without doing literally anything. And yes, let me collect all the emeralds that we've gotten so far. Yeah, that's a good amount, I'd say. And then I just need some books, which maybe we can snag from a village itself. And then we need a lectern. How do we make one of those again? Okay, we'll just finish that up once we get to the village, I figure. And I don't know, maybe we can just teleport like this. Oh, well, you know what? If this village doesn't have bookshelves, the dungeon right next to us will. So that kind of solves that issue. Oh, I shouldn't open chests in front of these fellas, probably. I mean, let's see if anything's actually going on over here. Here we are. Okay, usually the bookshelves are kind of on the sides while you're walking around. Ooh! Well, as a big plus, I just got the rogue eye. So that gets us another step closer to the end portal. Oh, that's a boss. I won't say no to a boss, as long as he can't get to me. Then I have no issues with it. Oh, got him. Oh, mythic item, hold on. Lightning focus, mending speed, synergy. Nothing too crazy off of those traits there. Plus four max health though, three armor toughness, and 6.53 armor, which is better than what we have on for sure. They're also just unbreakable full on out, which is, I mean, that's always a good thing to have, am I right? Okay, well, I kind of quit because this is really not working. I'll try going down one more hallway. How about that? That's as far as I'll go. Oh. Okay, well, it worked, so I guess we're in the clear, folks. Here we go. I can just use these books, actually, and then put them through a grindstone, right? So I should do that. That would be a smart idea. I've just realized it. <laughs> Okay, all good. I'll head back up. Excuse my voice, I'm a little bit sick. But besides that, we can return back up to the surface. And it's nighttime, so let's quickly sleep that off. Okay, so we are in a village, which means we can already get to trying to get a mending book here. Hello, villager. We can talk to you, right? Yes. Now let's remove your profession. Yeah, there we go. And then... Oh, we need to craft a lectern. Okay, there we go, lectern. And if we place that down here, our villager friend should come over. Yes, we're gonna wanna trap him in right away. There we go, perfect. Now let's get in a different way. We can get in from here. Hello. And the journey to get mending begins. Uh, there we go. Boom, boom. And he's trapped. Hell infusion. Now, the only issue is that there are so many different enchantments in this pack that I don't even know what the chances are of us being able to get what we want. Yeah, this might take a while. The variety of enchantments I'm getting here is pretty, pretty crazy. Mending! Oh my god, we got it. Let me lock that in ASAP. ASAP, let's lock that in. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. I wonder if I can put in 
that as a book? No, I can't. Okay. I need a grindstone then. Boom, grindstone, place that there. And we can disenchant these books that we do not want. Boom, okay, here we go. Can get a couple more mending books. And I'm getting a discount here, how nice. I need even more books than that though. Let me quickly return home. And here we can pick up some more books that we don't really need. There we go, boom, and boom. Okay, nine mending books, that's pretty good if you ask me. Let's see if this villager upgrades his trade too. It doesn't really seem like he is. There we go. Okay, scavenger one, I do not want that. Okay, now what do we want to put mending on? That's a good question. Any of this gear? No, not necessarily. This is a pretty good chest plate. This is a pretty good helmet. None of these other items are that good. Let's see if I have anything lying around here that I forgot about. Okay, I don't see anything else better here. So I say we can just um, use the mending that we have on the current gear we've equipped. Oh, the only thing is, though, once we do that, we can't enchant this. Oh, and I would like to enchant my gear. Hmm, okay. I mean, that only really goes for my boots. I don't know. The enchantments that we have on our gear currently is not that good. But for simplicity's sake, I will just put mending on it and forget about worrying about anything too much. Boom. Boom, and boom. No, it degraded. No. Uh, oh, that's so sad. I lost so many ranks of the enchantments on that. Now, the next thing I'd like to do is go to the nether. But in this pack, the crazy thing is that you need to get something called a netherite lighter, I believe. Yeah. And this uh, requires some materials from a ruined nether portal, I believe. It doesn't show the recipe here, unfortunately. So we can quickly try to search for some room nether portals and see if we can figure this out. If we can't, I might just need to give myself the netherite lighter because, well, uh, I don't want to be stuck and not be able to progress into the nether, you know? Oh, and I'm out of levels. Because I wanted to teleport back to where uh, we found that mining site. So let me maybe mine some levels real quick. Oh, that's all going to go to mending. Okay, this whole level thing really is not working out. There we go. Now I'm getting some levels. Where are the levels going? I have like no mending things. Are you kidding me? Okay, fine. Let's just continue adventuring and we'll go in a new direction, I guess. We won't use our teleport for now. And I have chosen to go in this direction. I've never went up one of these structures, so I guess it's about time to do it. Let's see if there's anything actually special up on top of these. Ah, there's a waystone up here. Okay, that's actually kind of useful. I'll take that and then paraglider. Ooh, okay. Interesting. I'm surprised that I've, uh, I never knew that that's what's in here. Okay. I mean, shall we try to use it? I guess we shall. Oh yeah, I can drop it as well. It's really slow. I don't know if there's any upgrades you can make to it. Deco leaf. No, there's not really any upgrades. Okay, well, nevertheless, kind of a cool item. Here's Medusa's lair. Now, if I had one leather with me right now, I could take that on. In fact, didn't I see, yes, some cows back here. I mean, I'm hoping me killing one won't make them aggressive towards me, but I guess we'll have to find out the hard way. Yeah, they seem to still like me. Okay, cool. Let's do it. So, we're gonna take this string. Boom, blindfold, equip that. Thank you very much. Okay, well actually we'll equip that in a moment. Let's get inside here. And I'm pretty sure you just need to activate a combination of levers. And that is what will open up the door for us. Okay, now let's equip this. Get some healing on my bar. There we go. And golden apple. Oh wow, right out of the gate. There she is, Medusa, the legend. Take that, Medusa. And she's gone. Wow, one out of six legends slain. That was pretty quick too. Okay, we probably shouldn't fool around too much over here. We did get her head, that's fun. And I don't think we got anything else. Oh, and I am remembering, I'm pretty sure there's a certain villager we can summon. Um, oh my goodness, hold on. Here, hay coal. Okay, we need to make a hay coal. Let's make this. I just got an idea. There are more bosses in this pack that we can hunt down actually using this, I believe. Uh, the materials are simple enough. We just need to get to a village. There's also this portal. Unfortunately though, I was not able to find any info on how to activate this. It's pretty confusing. Ooh, is that a ruined nether portal? I think it is, I think it is. And that's what we originally wanted to find, isn't it? Um, yeah, nothing, like nothing to do with this netherite lighter, I don't think. Theoretically, we'd need a magma block. 
And then we need a bucket of lava, but there's no lava here. I'll get these magma blocks. And then later, I think we need iron and lava to make a piece that we need for this lighter. And if that doesn't work, then I'm just gonna have to give it to myself because that means there's no way. Anyways, let's continue forward. Hello, buried treasure map. Maybe I could follow this buried treasure map actually. That might not be a bad idea. Oh, looks like we are really close to it already. Even better. Well, let's go grab it then. Here we go. And it should be right around this area. Aha, there it is. What she got? Ooh, yes. See, it had one of the eyes that we need. That's perfect. And heart of the sea. Mm, nothing else here, really. Okie dokie. Cool. So we now got the black eye. Pirate say it gave sight to the legendary black pearl. Very cool. And look at that. We got a big pirate ship. Let us check this out. Oh, yeah. This one's huge. Holy moly. All right, here we go. I'm not too scared. Usually I'm scared of these melee guys, but I mean, we have like four rows of health and we're cleaving them and our gear has mending. You can't get much better than this. I wonder if I can attack with both my weapons at the same time. Hold on. Am I attacking with both at the same time? It looks like I'm attacking with both at the same time. That's pretty crazy if that's true. I'll test that a bit more. Anyways, let's loot this. Um, I think this place just is going to have a lot of coal and gunpowder. Oh, there's a diamond though. I have ender. Okay, okay. Ooh, stack of iron. We definitely have like a stack of iron blocks at this point. Ooh, and it looks like we got something here. Uh, oh, yes. This is the illusioner or something, or I, I forgot what his name is to be. The Conjurer, I think that might be his name. I fought him before. Hello. Oh boy. Wait, 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 wait. Where's my golden apples? Wait, where'd I put? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hold on. Wait, what's going on here? Uh, where'd my golden apples go? Okay. I'm so confused. Well, it is what it is. Okay. All right. Let's fight. I think I can attack with both weapons at the same time. That's actually really overpowered. Look at this. Got him. Okay, that actually, uh, that was a bit scary. I didn't like that he did so much damage, but there we go. Conjure hat. Okie dokie. Trinket unlocked. Butcher's cleaver. What does that do? Chance of dropping bones when killing animals. We don't need that. Okay. Well, we just defeated that boss. That was fairly easy. That's a sea serpent. I'm not as scared of sea serpents, but after losing all my golden apples, apparently, and taking as much damage as I did from that one boss, I am a little bit scared. I almost feel compelled to purposely fight it, to be honest. It's probably a bad idea. I should not purposely fight it. Let's be honest. Yeah, that's just a bad idea. I mean, if it comes over here, I'm willing. I mean, oh, there's two. Oh, that's a mega one. That one's huge. Those hit for a lot. Oh, boy. See, that's a little bit more dangerous. If, if, okay, I can just try to bow at it. Oh, I'm so tempted to just go in for the melee hits and defeat them both with my cleave. But it's so dangerous. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, come on. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, my God. It's not fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. I regret it. I can't even hit it. Oh, I was trying to cleave it by attacking the bird. Okay, this was a terrible idea. See, its hitbox is in the middle of its body, which makes it impossible to smartly hit it at a melee range. So I'm not doing that. And you're gone. Thank you very much. Oh, and this whale's gonna try to attack me. Okay. It didn't drop its scales? Oh, here they are. Oh, it, okay, here we go. Let's go, where are you, buddy? Why are you flying all over the place? There we go, we got it. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Alrighty, <clears throat> let's continue on to more important things. Holy moly, hello big guy. Again, my concern with these fellas isn't the fact that I don't wanna fight it in melee range, it's the fact that I don't wanna get one hit by it. Adios, amigos. That was another teal sea serpent. I still cannot make any sea serpent gear, though. Or rather, I can't use any, so yeah, that's a thing. There's a new type of ship, which we can check out. Oh, and that's a mini sea serpent. Wait, let's trap it with my bow. Oh, no. Gotcha. All right. I'd really like to stop running into these guys. Okay, let's see what we got going on over here. Uh-huh. I do see some pillagers. And I see this guy who seems like he's going to try to blow me up. Don't really like the idea of that. Oh, boy. Here we go with the sea creatures, dude. All of you ganging up on me as always. Oh, my God. I'm under pearling out. Go, 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 go. I'm not going to lie. That got my heart racing a little bit. Wow. Okay. Ah. Uh... This is not working out. Okay, now might be a good time to take a little rest stop and head home for a moment. In fact, I now have enough levels to go home, which is great. And I believe we just need to use this with the villager to make them use that as their profession. So we need to teleport to a village. But again, we're out of levels. We can make a spawner. I could maybe try that out. Spawner shard. Yeah, there we go. We can make four spawners, empty spawners. And then we need spawn eggs. So here 
here we have creepers. That's not my favorite mob to farm. This is probably a bad idea, to be honest. This is probably a terrible idea, but we can try to make a mob grinder with uh, a creeper. Maybe let's uh, go down this way. Yeah, I don't really know if any cave's gonna be better than this unless we wanna build our spawner above ground. So let's just try to light this up as best as we can. I'm really lighting up the area well because this will affect the spawn rate of our spawner. Might as well do a good job here. Also, let's quickly take a look at our builder side. I mean, since we're already on the surface, what a beauty. What a beauty. With the door open, aw, how amazing is that? I think the next thing that we should work on, though, is getting a house here. Okay, we're doing pretty good. I'm gonna push this wall a little bit further back, and then I'll be done. I should actually be trying to collect as much of the cobblestone as I can, because that's what I'm gonna use to fill up the sides of the walls. We need to remove all these vines. Okay, so I've got a box, but we need to kind of clear this area out. Um, so this isn't necessarily gonna be easy, but I think it'll pay off. So let's, uh, let's try to do this. Hello. Whoa, look at this dog. This is what happens when you let it be nighttime. Oh my god. I don't know where that dog went. Oh, there it is. Yep, it wants to kill me, of course. We could have been friends, buddy. We could have been friends, but no. I do need to put like a torch or something at the entrance of this because I'm having a lot of mobs try to come in and attack me. Okay, so I've mostly cleared out this whole box. Awesome. Now, I mean, I guess it's the moment of truth where we should actually place the spawners here. Before I do anything else, though, I do need like a little spot that I can stand when I'm biting off things, so I guess we can add a nice little separator wall. Okay, that is set up. Okay, it's not the best placement, but that's the placement we got. And we'll do another one over here somewhere. I could have done better with this. It's fine. Uh-oh. Okay, it's fine. We're breaking this. Okay, here we go. Let us break all of... Oh, boy, this is going to be bad. Not because of the regular creepers, but because of the mutant creepers. That's what I'm afraid of. Okay, turning the lights off. Yep, yep, yep. And then, theoretically... Oh, my God! Okay, that was not the plan. I guess then, uh... It's not working as I thought it would, apparently. I'm kind of sad about that. That was a huge blast. Are you kidding me? It exploded the wall that much? Holy moly, dude. Oh, we need ectoplasm. Okay, ectoplasm. Supposedly, this is a drop from ghosts, but I don't know what the chance of that is dropping, and also, I don't know if it'll actually work on these spawners, because they are from two different mod packs. Okay. Uh, well, that didn't go as planned. It's all right. You know what? At least we tried. Okay, well, let us go into to a village and let's find a villager to work with here here we go break this and supposedly if we place this oh it's not working too well hello oh boom so it worked and now yeah look at that he has different maps that he's selling the house pergamon all these different things let's return with some maps and emeralds do i have any empty maps can i turn this into an empty map i wonder no i can't can I? Oh, can I use this as a map? I don't know. We'll have to see because I'm going to need that for trading with this villager. Oh, here's a book that dropped. The Lonely Villager by Anonymous Villager. In our village, there was a sorcerer. He had great powers of fire and would constantly harass everyone by shooting fireballs everywhere and setting things on fire. Nobody liked him. He was very rude and really hated water for some reason. He'd always rave on about how it always felt damp and humid, even though we were right next to the desert. Next one day, he just left. Nobody knows where he went. I read that wrong, but that's fine. Some say he died. Others say that he went into the desert to live alone, where if he really is still out there and hasn't succumbed to the desert sands, don't try to fight him with fire. It only makes him stronger. Interesting. So that's some type of a boss, maybe, that's out in the desert or something. Anyways, hello to this guy. So can I use... Oh, I can't use that, but I can buy this. Black pear gum in. 
or Pergamine, and then we need to find more maps. The Iron Mines, the house. We want both of those. I mean, I guess I could also just try to get a bunch of paper and make some maps myself. I'm not fully against that. In that case, we just need to find sugarcane. Reeds. Oh, are all of these reeds? They are, and I think we can use this to make paper. Perfect. Okay, let's see. How much paper can I make? 12. So, in combination with what I already have, that'll probably only make two more maps. Preferably, we want some more. And here we have a ruined nether portal again. But I'm not finding anything special here, really. Yeah. Um, I did want to try this earlier. Hold on, let me see. I can take a lava bucket and the Theoretically, by the recipe, this should work. Oh, it does. Okay. So that makes molten alloy. And I believe we want like four of those or something. Let's see. Does this even have any uses? Oh, it does. Netherite scrap piece. There we go. So we'll just make three more of these. And then we want one nether brick. Might as well just do this now. Bam. Netherite scrap piece. And how do we use this? I'm um, hoping we don't need to make a scrap plate. No, no, no. Theoretically, if we're following the rules of how this is supposed to work, um, it looks like we would just need that in combination with netherrack. That doesn't work? Oh my goodness. Yeah, see, so it's it's just broken. And there might be a way to get it, but I don't know of it. So yeah, I'll just have to give it to ourselves. Uh, yeah, we'll do that later. Anyways, back to getting paper. Hmm, 33 paper. So that'll make me about four maps, maybe five. I'd say that's probably more than good enough because following all these maps is gonna take a while. And in the meantime, we'll probably find way more paper than we need. Three, four, maybe we'll go for five. Okay, I got up to six maps, so. No, I just wasted all my paper on presents. No. It somehow double shift clicked or something. I don't know what happened, man. Dang it. Oh, okay. Well, it's fine. It's not really going to affect too much. I'll just store this away for now, and then we'll just collect the reeds as we adventure to find the maps that we currently have. How about that? Hello. I'm back. So the house, and we can get the iron mines, and I'd like to continue upgrading this guy. Boom. That lets us upgrade again. Let's see what other maps he gives us. I just used this item and it didn't really do anything. I'm kind of confused. And it has a cooldown on it. Um, okay. The ship. So that's the next thing it's bringing me to. And also, you just dropped the grand finale by Captain Crunch. This is my last entry before my ship sinks. I tried to escape it, but alas, the beast is too crafty. I'm gonna stick this in a bottle and toss it overboard. Then with any luck, someone will find it one day. I figured out its weakness, but it's too late. I forgot to reload the shiver my timbers. I only needed to shoot its tentacles. So, I mean, obviously some ship is talking about the crack in there. I can keep buying these, I guess, just because that is upgrading this fella. The castle. Look at that. It costs 48 emeralds. That's pretty crazy. I wonder if that's what we went to when we defeated the king. Oh, and he dropped one called Richie by Spy. Reporting. They have a lot of armaments. Armaments? I don't know. Probably the most powerful king of all the earth. You should go at your own risk. Oh. Is this giving a hint at each new thing we unlock it is that does mean that the castle is where the king is which we already defeated now let's go follow this not to the iron mines because we already defeated the slime but to the house oh unless we need to defeat the bosses after getting this item i don't know dude anyways let's see let's follow this to the house so south west Whoa, I just fell. Oh, this is a boss. Oh, that was not supposed to happen. Hold on. That was pretty random. And now I'm right next to a boss. All right, man. Well, bring it on. Leonard the Thursday. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? This is so ridiculous. I'm out of here. This is crazy. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, here we go. Heart containers. We definitely need those. I'm smelting up some food. And while I do that, I'm going to get more apples. What is this? Look at this thing. What is that? Oh, it's attacking me? Oh, that's creepy. It dies pretty easily. Okay, I've got my golden apples now. And we got our food. Perfect. Let's uh, let's get to searching. Now, there's this, like, sky thing here that we can definitely check out. There's also a sea serpent right there, but that's fine. We're not scared of those guys anymore, are we now? Um, oh, that's an evoker. Okay, let's see how it is. Whoa. That, but I mean, I'll take the totems of undying. Looks like there's some glowstone in here or something. Okay, nothing too crazy. 
Oh, hello. Wow, Curse of Swine for just eight minutes. Are you kidding me? Well, um, I need milk, definitely. Can I walk through a one wide place? I can. My life is so great. Oh, all my gear got taken off, didn't it? Wow. I'm surprised I didn't get killed. Wow. I'm really glad I didn't get killed. Holy moly. Oh, I do hear a witch. Yeah, fighting anybody right now is kind of a bad idea. So maybe I can just take some shots. Yep. Oh, oh, hello. Seems like nobody attacks me while I'm big. All right, well, let's head on down. Uh, now there is a sea serpent down there, right? That's a bit dangerous. Okay, instead of heading down, I'm gonna waste stone and I'm gonna go home, first of all. Let me try to sleep off the night. Okay, good. And now I do reckon that we need to get uh, some milk. This sucks. I basically have to just wait this out because uh, there's no cows around. Okay, I'm going underground. That's my solution to my life is to escape it. There we go. Sitting down here. That's my life. Okay, finally, it's over. The curse has ended. My goodness, that was that was not good. Let's go out far. We down we go. Boom. So now we continue following this map to the house. And and here we got one of these dungeons. I have explored these in my past 100 days, but I would not mind quickly checking this out. Let's see here. Hello. Oh, you guys are going to shoot me. Oh, that's not very nice, you know? Oh, xylophone. Look at that. I'll check that out in a moment. Oh, look at that. I got the ring. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I can't even kill this guy with that flint and steel. That's the crazy part. Oh no, 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 no. All right, there, pal. All right, you're having a bit too much fun here. Die, die. Yes, I don't have a flint steel, though. This is so bad. He's just going to come back up. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Let's, let's just try to run past him. How about that? Go away, everybody. Go away. I hate you all. Oh, my goodness. It does not get better up here. Okay, we're fine. We're totally fine, guys. Oh, what? I might have to, like, jump off of here. Holy moly, dude. Wow, these guys are tanks. Holy moly, dude. They just keep coming. Okay, wow. Uh, protection 3 boots, that's actually pretty good. Protection 2 chest plate, that's actually pretty good. These are good items to collect. Protection 3 iron chest plate. Yeah, I kind of like these items. Protection 2 chest plate, yeah, I can combine these things. Sharpness 4 iron pickaxe, um, that's more than weird. Sharpness 5 diamond pickaxe, wow. I mean, maybe we'll keep that for the iron slime then, why not? And we are going to keep heading up. Oh my goodness, hello. How are there more of you? You guys are crazy. Mostly cleared out now. Leather cap protection eight, unbreakable. I wonder if that's any good. Interesting. Don't know how that compares to an iron helmet. Okay, wow, we got a bunch of stuff here. Lost eyes, torches, a lot of iron, diamonds. Okay, and that's, uh, I guess that's the main loot. That's it. We can see what's going on on the tippity top here, but it looks like that's it. Ooh. Okay. Well, it looks like we are done with this one. So let's go southwest. Oh, wait, there's another chest here. Oh, yeah, good thing I noticed that. Okay. All good. Let's go. Ooh, Goblin King. Okay. I mean, that's a boss that I'm willing to take on right now because we are fairly well geared. And I don't think this is an extremely difficult boss. The only thing I would say is that I need to get mending on this sword. So let me just quick teleport home. Okay, here we go, mending. I know I wanted to wait, but to enchant it, but it's just not gonna happen right now. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh boy, I've opened the floodgates. Oh my goodness. Take that. Ow, ow, ow. They're that, they do a lot more damage than I remember them doing. Holy moly. I got him. That's the, the, the first little wave, but there's still the boss himself too, which I hope he doesn't do more damage than that. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. This is actually a good spot to try to get him at. Oh my goodness. They have shields too. Look at him go. Okay, it's nighttime. Let's not deal with that while dealing with a bunch of goblins who are like 10 times stronger than I thought they would be. Okay. All righty, fellas. All right. My goodness. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, there are so many of them. Hello. Hello, fellas. How are there so many of you guys? Oh my goodness. Huh, huh. Gotcha. Oh, that's, a, that's the big one right there. Look at this beauty. A year gone, there we go. We have to head up to the king. Let's see how this goes. Okay, and he's just running. He's running and gunning is what he's doing. Come here, buddy. Oh, I need to slow him down. Oh, no. Is that a mutant zombie? Oh, my God. Okay, hold on. Let me just go with an apple here. 
Gotcha. Oh my god. All right, we got to get out of here. We did, in fact, get the goblin crown, though. Would you look at that? What a beautiful day. Okay, I mean, that kind of got close, but we did pretty, pretty good, actually. I'm pretty happy with how that went. With that, let us continue heading towards the house. Oh boy, I found some- Oh my goodness, Illager Fort. Oh my goodness, I just fell into a death trap. Get me out of here. Out, 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 out. This is a huge Illager space. Wow, okay. I mean, I definitely like to adventure through it. Um, I just need to upgrade our bow and get a bunch more golden apples. That's the two main things I'd really like to get so far. And let's go home. And I'm just gonna spend some time doing the good old tree farming for golden apples. And I do wonder, can I combine these to get an even higher level of protection? It looks like I can't. This only has one extra armor, whereas this one has a bunch of protection levels. So maybe I'll use this for a bit and see if I get damaged a lot or not. Okay, 11 apples. Looks like that's it for now. That's a pretty good amount, so I'm happy with it. Now, as for our bow, I'm thinking we might just want to use the Endless Quiver enchantment, Mending, and then use the Instant Damage Arrows, because we'll be able to infinitely use them. Okay, here we go. Arrow of Harming, and then two things. It looks like due to my game crashing, uh, I don't know where the Endless Quiver is. Maybe I'm not finding it, but I've been looking through my chest and it doesn't seem to be anywhere here. And I didn't use it and I didn't lose it. So uh, what happens is sometimes when I take items out or put them into chests and then my game crashes shortly after, uh, the items just get removed from my game and I can't really do anything about it, unfortunately. Not only that, but we do have the matter of us needing that netherite lighter for the netherite portal we want to build. So... I'm uh, I'm going to decisively give myself both the Endless Quiver Enchanted Book and the Netherite Lighter that I literally cannot make and I need to progress into the Nether. Okay, there we go. I have the Netherite Lighter and the Endless Quiver Enchantment. And yes, I gave these to myself using Creative. That's how it is. Okay, deal with it, folks. Now, I need to put this on that. Boom. And now, yeah, look at that. It's firing instant damage. What we can do is make use of the nighttime and test this on some mobs. Mm, yeah, I mean, it's not doing crazy damage. Power 5 would definitely benefit us a whole lot more. Let's head into that Illager camp. Oh, man, I can't because I don't have enough levels. This is quite the experience. I do see a house here. I think it's just like a fisherman lodge type of thing, but we'll take a quick look. Hello there, fisherman. I really am sorry to have to do this to you, folks. If you wouldn't have attacked me, I wouldn't have done it to you. Unbreaking three book. That's actually quite good. Luck potion. I'll drink this. I'm still confused as to what luck does. Okay, not much here. Okay, I mean, maybe as an idea, what we can do is head into the mines and mine for some experience. Because while doing that, we can also fight off mobs. We've got a spawner here with a uh, spider spawn egg. That's kind of nice. And I'm really getting levels at a much slower rate than I thought I would, because I thought my gear would have fully gotten repaired by now, but it has not been repaired still. No, it's just not doing it. I'm just not receiving the experience. It is not happening. There we go. Okay, I'm doing it. I've taken off enough things. Okay, here we go. Level seven. Now in advance, a forewarning, I did have to literally restart my Mind Shafts and Monsters mod folder because the mod pack broke on me, okay? Ooh, it'd be wise to put our gear back on and <laughs> I figure we can head back up to the surface. Ooh, nighttime. I do not like it. Um, I guess now we can use our waste stone and we should go back home real quick. Quick. Well, bam. I mean, without too much preparation, I think we're as ready as we're going to get. I guess we should continue following the map. And also, we should try to fight off whatever type of uh, illager camp this place is. 
Clearly, this is not going to be anything easy. Oh my goodness. There are a lot of these guys. Uh, uh, ow. There are a lot of mobs down here. We can try to carefully approach them. That's a funny joke, isn't it? Careful. Not going to be happening here. Here we go. I'm trying to get an angle on these fellas. Go, 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 go. I got them in a nice little trap. Okay, looks like we've cleared this out a little bit. Let's go. Go, go, go. I'd like to see what's inside this house real quick. We got steak, which I guess I'll take. Um, leather, which I will also take. Yeah, that's pretty good loot. Um, I don't necessarily need this stuff now. It would have been nice to get this earlier on. Gotcha. Oh boy, that's a ravager. My bow works on it though. Oh yeah. And you're stuck. And we'll take you out there. More chests here. Just a bunch of steak, which I mean I'm grabbing. And emeralds. Oh, it's an evoker. We need to surge this guy down. He's my heart container. Got him. Good, 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 good. And I'd like to loop back around to get the totem of undying. No, I don't want to run flesh. There we go. I got it. Perfect. Due to our gear having mending, we're actually doing pretty all right. Oh my goodness. Goodbye. Another evoker gone. Dude, in order to succeed in this pack, you need to like literally be invulnerable. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. How are you going to survive all that without being invulnerable? I don't know. Yeah, we need some next level gear. I mean, there was some decent loot, but nothing crazy there. So I don't think it's really worth pursuing any further. Is this a new one of these? Because maybe I can loot this real quick. This is easier. His health's got to be low. There we go. Got him. Oh, and I have permanent uh, mining fatigue right now. I don't know why. Uh, let's take these guys out. Well, this house is gone, but we will quickly loot it. Gold is good. We definitely need all the gold we can get. Looted the bottom layer. Let's quickly see if we can uh, find something on the top. No, I still have mining fatigue. Is it because I'm two-handing right now? Why do, I, why do I have permanent mining fatigue? Might be something that I'm carrying? Is it because I have too many totems of undying? I don't know what's causing the permanent mining fatigue. It actually makes uh, zero sense right now. Well, it's nighttime. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. It's gone. And now, let me quickly mine into that vault. Diamonds, that's all right. Okay, there's actually not that much there. Okie dokie. Let us continue following the map to the house. Got a little battle tower here, which I will loot because we need to keep getting gold. Here we go. Okay, okay. We shall continue along. Whoa. Ooh, we got a Cyclops. I have not fought one of these guys yet. Can our bow actually do damage to him? Because to be honest, I'm not very confident in fighting him close up because he can literally just eat us. There we go. Okay, we did get Eye of Cyclops. Inflicts weakness to all nearby hostiles. And we're going to sleep off the night. Whoa, that's a cool little portal. And we got another one over there. Interesting. Nothing really here. It's just a portal. Here we have another one. Farfala's Frosty Flames. It's a fire that quickly freezes to ice. Interesting. Whoa. Look at this. We got some fellas hanging out. Okay. Hi. And you're all dead. All right. Well, we just took him out and I'm leaving. Oh, there's one more. Sorry, my friend. I must have missed you. <gasps> oh, these are like trolls. Yeah, and they're friendly. I'm not going to attack them. And this right here, I believe, is like a little dwarf house. Hello. <gasps> no, I didn't mean to do that. I got to stop doing that, man. That's that's a really bad thing to do. Yeah, so this is some stuff that I don't really know how to deal with. Okay, well, that's a waystone unlocked, so that's nice. Now we keep going west and a little bit north and we should find what we want. Now, should we test if killing the king now will have any difference since we only traded with the villager after we killed the king the first time? Maybe we should try because it's not like it's gonna be that hard. <laughs> Oh my god. I just got uh, like two more tonos of undying. Here we got the king. Oh my god. Last time he did not spawn clones. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Gotcha. Okay, now there is some loot here. Yeah, I mean, is there anything that we really need? Gold is good. Gold is good. And you know what? Lapis as well. Okay, thank you. That's all I'm taking. My favorite time. Whee! Oh, now it's just north from us. So let's head upwards. Ooh, deserted. Oh yeah, there we go. We're moving on the map. That might be it uh, right there, actually. That house. Yeah, I think it is this house. The chest here. Ooh, old eye. Okay, so we got a new eye, which is good. I mean, I can try to get as ready as I can for this boss and uh, just try to see if we can take it on. I honestly don't know if we'll be able to, but I will try. So let's see. It looks like we're kind of ready to go for it here. Let's see. 
Oh boy, okay. Find a foundry, oh. Maybe, so we might have actually discovered another structure within this because this isn't a foundry itself, I'm pretty sure. Hello, oh boy. Can I redirect his shots? Oh, I can, but it's kind of hard to approach him. How do I, oh my God. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna need to think about this and take a look at uh, what, what you're supposed to do against this guy. I've checked it out and it looks like the weakness of this boss is water. The strategy seems to be approaching it with a shield and then hitting it with water and then it transforms into like a miniature version of itself. Okay, so okay, let's see. Wood probably isn't the best for this. This is what we're gonna do. Yeah, see, so he stops firing at you as soon as he loses track. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 are you kidding me? Oh my God. Okay, hold on. He just used two of my totems of undying literally within like one second. Okay, we're gonna need to be a bit more tactical. Did I hit him with that water? No, I didn't. Oh my God. We need to get the water directly over top of him. I will extend this, but I'm gonna quickly head back home, I think. Do I have any more hearts? Let's have a look. Oof, I don't. Okay. In that case, I do have an idea. It might be a wise decision to try and just uh, adventure through a regular dungeon really quickly. Then that'll help us get uh, some more heart pieces and then we can approach that boss again. Because as it stands right now, uh, we're just going to die if we try to take him on. So yeah, uh, I guess we can go to this boss teleport and then we can try to go into this dungeon. But I am afraid of the fact that a, a foundry also spawned here. Yep, that's a foundry. Oh boy. They just keep spawning, don't they? Netherite boots. Um, okay. Heart piece. And we're gonna break their spawner. Goodbye. Oh my god. They are smart. Holy moly. Okay, this is good. This is good. Heart pieces, please. No. No, 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 no. So that is two more heart containers. That's good. More heart pieces. Perfect. We are doing exactly what we need to do. Look at me spam my axe. That's right. Goodbye, sir. Oh my goodness. I don't have any more of the heart containers. This is not good. Let's try to break this spawner really quickly. What? How did that not break? No. Okay, how about I break this? Oh, there we go, two new hearts. That should be good enough for us to get back to doing what we wanted to do, which is defeating the boss. Oh, I do have enough levels to put mending on her bow now. That's good. Bam. And I want to see if we have enough of these things to activate their perks. We need one more to actually gain the effect, which would be great. Boom. So we have four of these, and now we should gain 20% resistance while sprinting. That's awesome. It does work. I do see it. And I need one more syringe for its perk as well. If I would have been collecting all of the ones I've been seeing, I'd probably already have more than enough for all of this, but I have not been collecting. I think we have to head in and try try to defeat this boss. And you know what? Gravel might be my best friend here because I can much easily use that and then drop blocks in front of me. So let's see, how do we want to do this? Well, actually, if I can kind of circle around, maybe we can circle in like this. Okay, this is where the help of our gravel might be pretty useful because if I can place blocks here, there we go. We've built up a wall that gets us one layer closer. Is that gonna do what we wanted to? Oh, it is, look at that. Oh, you scrub. Oh, you scrub, we got ya. Oh my goodness, we got him. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Maybe I celebrated a bit too early. I need to grab a water bucket. In the case that the boss's health will regenerate, I'm gonna make a second bucket, I think. There we go. And now if he regenerates, we can still take him out of both phases. Let's have our things ready and let us try to finish this off. I hope we can do so without it demolishing us like it almost did. So same right here and then we pour water right there. Okay, there we go. Same thing happened. Go, 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 go. I don't know if he's on a timer or what. Oh, yep. Yeah, he's definitely on some kind of a timer. Okay water and go 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 boom got him there we go all done finally we've taken him out ancient sorcerer's sword look at that sharpness 10 a sorcerer's power at your fingertips interesting i wonder if that's actually better than this sword with damage because i mean maybe we can find some type of an enchantment that makes it sort of unbreakable well i do want to see if that other boss is still around the lion boss so let me go in this direction which is i think where the nemean lion was yep okay it's still spawned good this is a little bit more dangerous i don't 
really know what to expect from this one. Where is it? Is a good question. Oh, there it is. There's the Nimian lion. Oh yeah. Look at him go. He's attacking the whole village. Hey. Oh, do bows not work on him? I think he's stuck. Well, I mean, I think conveniently, this boss is kind of stuck. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, Nimian Lion. Nimian Lion, hide. Oh, you put it on your head. Interesting. That's a fun little item to get. And dog claw. Interesting. You can make a sharpness book with it. Wow. Anyways, that's another boss taken out real quick. And I guess now we should head back to the village where we have our map villager. And we can get the next maps from there. And we got some paper here. I need some maps though. No maps. Very well then. We'll have to make them ourselves again. Let's return home because my inventory is way too full all the time. I'll head out to to look for some sugar cane now and reeds because we want to make a bunch of paper and here we go we're already finding some okay there's a stack of reeds which should definitely be enough paper so i am going to head back home and our taters have grown look at them taters we can pick them up i am slowly recovering from my sickness as you can tell by my voice maybe maybe not so hopefully that's a good thing i don't know how bad i sounded previously i really hope it wasn't that bad please Okay, so reeds make paper. All we need is redstone iron. Bam, 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 bam. And we will just spam making maps. Not bad, six maps. I think that's more than enough to get our emeralds. And I'm running out, which I never thought would happen. I need to put our overpowered helmet back on. It's overpowered for all the wrong reasons, but that's fine with me. Uh, we don't want the castle because that's where the king is. So let's upgrade, see what else we can get here. Oh, there we go. You dropped a book. Let's read this before figuring out what it is. I have forged a pact with sun itself, and now I have finally unlimited power. To fuse with my lord, I need less than six health points. Hold six blocks of iron in my dominant hand and six points of armor then i will cast myself into the flame and become one with the lord then i will be free from this flesh that binds in me okay i wonder if that actually has any effect if you do those things because i mean each boss has had a weakness so far let me buy the castle but i'm also not familiar with the fact of why he's selling me a poppy and coal right now are these hints is a good question i don't know what this is i mean i'm buying a bunch of poppies there we go like i mean they're pretty cheap so i guess it's fine i'm a bit confused though i mean I'm, the castle is probably just the one that we already know about right i mean we could run towards it and just confirm if it's what we think it is because i want to make sure that we're not losing the trail on the quest line but after this especially if it is what we think it is maybe we can uh head into the nether oh here we did get level up a villager to master and make a grand purchase. So I'm guessing that does mean that we uh, fully leveled up that villager. I can't believe I'm doing this just to prove to myself that this is exactly what I think it is. Sometimes I make the worst commitments ever. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. You know what? No, I'm not doing it. This is definitely the king, okay? We're going back and we're going to the nether, okay? Deal with it, all right? Yes, you're gonna have to deal with it because that's what I'm doing. Do I have the materials to make a portal? There's the obsidian and where is the lighter? Aha, here we go. Okay. Okay, we got that. Let us build this portal and we can probably build it in this kind of clear space we have here. Okay, boom. There we go. We have the portal. Now, the nether is not a friendly place, okay? You do not regenerate health in the nether in this mod pack, okay? I know that for sure. And that's a lot harder. I'm gonna take some more blocks with us and hopefully we'll get an okay spawn. Now, one great thing about unlocking the nether here is that we have a great way of getting experience because quartz Mm, a beautiful source of experience, I must say. Uh, you know what? Let's get some more apples, and then we'll go into the nether and have a jolly, jolly old time. Okay, boom. 12 golden apples total. Not a lot. Not that good. But you know what? We're just going to have to deal with it. And now I can head into the nether. I'm sure there are some bosses that we can actually find here. I don't know if we will. What is this? Fume puffer. Interesting. I have no idea what that does. Oh, it gives you speed, I think. Oh, jump boost? Oh, it gives you jump boost. Oh, I see. Oh my god. Look at this thing. No way. There we go. Look at this. This looks crazy, actually. This looks pretty cool. There's another temple there. 
there. Like, I know I shouldn't go into there, but I'm really curious. Also, is this guy evil? Oh, he is. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. This thing looks crazy. I've never seen a lot of the mobs in this pack. It's actually pretty cool. Ooh, okay. We should check that out. I also wanted to check out the nether temple. And I do have fall damage protection, which is a good thing. Now, let me see. What is this? Oh, it hurts you. Look at that. Ooh, it actually does a good amount of damage too. Doesn't seem like it's very breakable either. I don't know. I wonder if I can use shears to break this. No. Okay. Well, in that case, I guess we'll leave it alone. Yeah. I mean, it's not really worth risking anything. I think we should just get out of here to be honest, but I do want to check out that ship because that definitely intrigues me. Dude, I have no more arrows. I'm not mad. I'm not angry. I'm not going crazy at all. You know what? I'll use this as a chance to take a peek into what's going on in this structure here. How about that? There's nothing there, so maybe we can take this boss on, but I feel like I need heart containers first. So I'll mark the coordinates down, and I cannot believe I didn't bring waystones again. Wow. Ah, okay. If I had waystones, that would have made things easier, but that's okay. We might actually need another star to activate that boss as well, which does complicate things. Maybe we can fight the wither. I'm not opposed to that. I think we might have enough wither skeleton skulls. Anyways, I made it up to the ship here. I don't see anything around yet. There's these bugs, but they are... Oh, they're not friendly, are they? Nope, nope, they're not friendly. Loot, block of iron, gold, more gold. I mean, now it's apples that's hard to get, not gold, which is funny. Mm -hmm. What do we got down here? More gold. Just a bunch of gold everywhere here. 21 blocks. Okay. Whoa, another rating yet. Wow, I'll take that gladly. Where to next? I don't know. Can we make this jump? Huh. Yes, we can. Another one of these buildings that we've seen before here. I don't think there's actually anything inside here but I'm gonna take a look. It looks really cool. I gotta tell you that much. Okay, okay, really gassed. I don't have any arrows. How much faith do we have that we can hit it with its own fireball? Oh my God, I just like, oh my God. Oh my goodness. Fire resistance. It's fine. Here I am. I've made it after being knocked into the lava. I've made it back. Okay, so this statue lets you set your spawn point, which is cool. Oh my god, they're shooting into here. Guys, come on. Yeah, return to center. That's right. Oh my god. Where is there an invisible gas? Where is this? Uh, where? What? I'm being shot at by two gas, even though I only see. Oh my god, there it is. Oh my god. I just killed one that spawned right in front of me. Okay, it's fine. I'm ignoring them. What's going on over here where I see wither skeletons? I've never seen them before. I can't really use my axe here because if I attack those big golem guys, I'm afraid they're gonna kill me. Okay, I think we should continue onwards. As cool as this place is, go up here. There we go. You're done. You're done. I hate all the mobs in the nether, except for like these golem guys. These are like the friendliest creatures here. Is that a portal? I might actually want to use that, but there's so many mobs surrounding it. Are you kidding me? I just need to place the obsidian a bit differently and we can use it. Oh no, I don't have the netherite lighter. Oh no. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe I'll just have to walk home then. Can't use a portal to get back. And I'm making sure to get all types of soul stones, soul sand, whatever, so that we can summon the wither if we choose to. Okay, I figure our strategy is to try and return home. Then maybe if we can fight the wither and from there, hopefully fight the boss in the nether. I think that's a pretty good plan. If we can do all of that, I'd be quite satisfied, to be honest. Oh my god. There's another version of these guys. I did not know that. I don't even want to mess with them, to be honest. If, if the ones in the overworld can almost one-shot me, I don't want to deal with that. Okay. Dude, what is that? Wow. Oh, this guy's, this guy's legit, dude. Oh, this guy's legitimate. Got him. What'd he drop? It's rotten flesh. Okay. Well, that's not exactly what I was looking for. Here we go. Okay, I'm back and I'm drained. Oh, all right. Okay, I guess I'm not back then. Oh, all right. You want to fall too? Great, bud. That's awesome. The nether in these mod packs just kills me every time. Oh, I'm so happy to get out. Oh, so happy. Get me out. Thank you. Oh, it's nighttime. I'm sleeping. Look at that. Okay, we're sleeping this off right away. That's it. We're done. We're done. We survived. Holy moly. There we go. I have three wither skeleton skulls. I think we should fight the wither. I'm honestly not afraid. I'm gonna walk far out. It's good because it's just like the beginning of the day here. So we're not gonna have issues with it being nighttime. Okay, I have uh, one up on this mountain here. I think this is a pretty good spot. And I'm gonna go for it. I'm also gonna eat a golden apple. And let's go wither. Here we go. 
All right. I think the bow is actually going to help us out in the first half because it can ensnare mobs. I don't know if it'll work on the wither. We shall see. Oh, nope. It can't ensnare the wither. Okay. Good to know. I'm hitting it. I don't see a thing, but I am hitting it for a lot of damage, actually. This is quite not advantageous. I've got to tell you the truth. Things are looking pretty scarce right now. I'm actually being destroyed. Hold on. Look at this thing. Dude, this thing's insane. Look at it go. Like, you can't really avoid its hits. There we go. I'm not blinded right now, which is good progress. I'm like running out of all of my golden apples already. Wow. Clearly that did not work well. What am I going to do now though? If I can get it into melee mode, that's really going to help. Okay. I just need to get it into that melee mode. Hold on. This might be good. No. Okay. Look where I've spawned back after my game crashed. Isn't this great? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Like I've, I have kept some of my golden apples because of this, so I'll take it. Let's just leave because obviously we're not going to do any better. So issues with the withers. I'm getting blinded. I have no idea where to shoot. And I definitely don't have enough health to withstand the barrage of attacks that come at me. So how do we treat this issue? I don't know. Is there something that like specifically stops blindness? I don't know if for example a pumpkin head would help i don't know i don't think it would so we might just need to deal with the blindness in that case i might have to load up on gold and apples that's like the best strategy other than upgrading our bow because if we can get a really powerful bow that would probably benefit us so let's do it let's do both of those things i'll head into the nether and try to collect a bunch of quartz let's do it There are a lot of ores here. Look at this. Oh my goodness. What is this, dude? There's so many ores here. I don't really want the iron or anything, but I mean, look at this. This is crazy crazy. Unfortunately, I am having to repair my gear first, and I don't want to take it off because that's kind of risky too, but that's fine. I'm sure we will get more than enough levels at the end of the day. And throughout this whole process, I am being very careful to try and not run into mobs. I hope I did not jinx myself by saying that, but so far... I've been doing pretty well, pretty well. This is a completely epic journey and story of how I'm gonna defeat the weather. This is the hard work and preparation that has to be done. Oh yeah, I've hit level 30, which is good. But I do wanna get to level 33 just so we can get two enchantments. That gives us all the more chance to get something that can help us eliminate the wither. Ruby heart trinket. I've been getting a lot, but this one, uh, this one intrigues me a little bit. What is that? When you have more than three hearts and you're about to die, we'll prevent you from dying and we'll set your health to half a heart. Interesting. It's a legendary level trinket. Maybe I will unlock that after we enchant because that will definitely help us as having a kind of additional totem of a dying effect. So I don't mind that. All right, and that's level 33. Now I would just waystone back home, but I think that's gonna charge us a good amount of levels, which I do not want to lose. So we're gonna have to walk back manually. Ah, there we go. There's our nether portal. Let us return. Please, oh please. That took a while, but we made it back in one piece. Okay, well now we just have to hope for some luck. But I do have my epic boat. And we can take off the enchantments because the enchantability of this item is increased by 13. I don't know exactly what that means. I'd assume that means it gets more of a quality enchantment for the same amount of levels, you know, hopefully. Uh, we got committed to, I don't know what that is. Deal increased damage against already wounded enemies. That's actually quite okay. So we can enchant that. Power three committed to, you know what? That's a really good enchantment. I'm not against that at all. Now, I wonder, can I combine these two? We don't really need mending either. So committed, power, bonus shot, endless quiver. That's looking like a very, very powerful bow. Now, we have that figured out. We now need a good source of healing. And this is going to go for the wither and also that other boss that we want to try to fight if possible. In that case, I think it would benefit us to adventure through some of the uh, roguelike dungeons that we have encountered along our path because those are pretty easy to go through and they can give us a bunch of heart pieces, which, uh, I mean, they're a really, really good way of healing with no risk. So Sand Village. Oh my God, that dragon scared me, man. We'll grab this Waystone and we shall continue in the direction that goes furthest from our headquarters. And what do we got 
here. I don't think I've ran into this yet. Oh, we got a little stable. I see. That's fun. I'm not really in the mood to have a mount in these 100 days just because my base speed is pretty quick and there's also a lot of enemies everywhere all the time. Let's see what we got up on this wizard tower. Can we get a beautiful item? Your arrows deal magic damage. I mean, this is an interesting crossbow, but actually what interests me most is the fact that this has a 50% increase to your speed. Oh yeah, but look at this. Our speed has increased substantially. And there's some harpies. You know what? I kind of feel bad about attacking them. I don't even want to do it. I mean, I guess. I guess. I can try out my bow real quick. What does bonus shot do? Excuse me. Firing a shot also fires a second shot at a nearby enemy. The second shot has reduced damage. Interesting. So theoretically though, this should be working and it's not. Well, that's disappointing, but all good. I got him. And you know what? We're doing pretty decent damage. Look at that. I also got an enchantment called Harpoon Shot. Shoots piercing harpoons instead of standard arrows. Here we got another mage tower. Let's check it out. And nothing. Those boots are not bad. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Those boots are better than mine, I think. Because they give 6.51 armor and 4 armor toughness, basically. That's really good. So we can get mending on those. And we do lose the max health, but the amount of armor we're gaining is quite substantial. Yeah, I'm happy with that find. Yeah, these towers are great, man. What can I say? I'm having a good time looting them. Oh, and it looks like I finally found one of the dungeons that we've been looking for. Not to mention another mage tower, which I'm also gonna loot. Arrow hoarder, acquisition, fire trail. I don't need any of those. No, thank you. I do appreciate the offer. Okay, hello. Let us step on in. Alrighty, we want to find the lower levels right away, if we can. Oh, an undead army spawned. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to ignore that. We got a golden apple. Another golden apple. That's what I'm talking about. This is what I came here for, exactly. So this whole time, the answer to finding more golden apples was actually adventuring. And I did not realize that. Because what, we've already gotten two? That's quicker than the rate we were getting them when we were uh, chopping down trees. Hey, man. It's, you know, it's really not cool when you try to attack me like that. I feel offended, okay? I do reckon that I enjoy spamming my axe for no reason. I know it's definitely not the most effective way to kill mobs. Although sometimes it is, you know, sometimes it is, but not all the time. Like right now, I just gotta get full hits like that. Boom, boom, and boom. Ooh, that's an elite mob. This is when that spam attack is pretty good. Look, it's like carrying stuff. Oh, hey man, no, no, don't do it to me again. Please, tell me you're kidding. No, something about that spot is crushing my game. It is not fun. <laughs> it is painful. I'm going through pain. Okay, now we really don't have a lot of days left, but in order to defeat the bosses that I want to defeat, it is pretty important to have at least a little bit more to support us with health. So I would like to, I mean, I guess, find a structure that's around us here and hopefully adventure through it normally. Uh, there's a jungle temple, which I guess I'll check out since that could have another one of the eyes we need. Hello, jungle temple. Puzzle? Oh, I'm not doing a puzzle. I'm sorry, fellas. Not my thing. Rogue guy. Oh, okay. I already have that one. But hey, you know what? Worth a try. Worth a try. I did get two heart containers, which is what I need to thrive and survive. Another rogue guy. Bamboo spikes. Boop, 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 boop. Another heart container. But I might not need to approach a whole dungeon. And mainly I'm scared to do it because it lags my game like crazy. But I mean, I do already have three heart containers, which is very, very substantial. Okay, here we go. Come on. I believe, I believe that we can do it and not lag. We can do it, folks. We can do it. Down we go. Okay, these vines are going to be the enemy. Here we go. Go, go, go. No crashes today, am I right? Let's see. What do we got here? Heart piece. Kidoki. No. Okay, no. Hello. No. Hello. Okay, not bad. Under pearl. Apples. Those are just as good as golden apples right now. Let's see these guys. Some of them can just apparently one shot you okay more apples good can't believe if i could have been getting apples like this this whole time i should have known but i'm a noob okay i don't know if there's actually a lower level than the one that we're on right now did i already loot all this yes i did so let's head back and i already have 24 golden apples basically which that, that might be good enough okay home bam let's grab all of our gold that we've collected
bam, all the golden apples we need. And with that, I mean, I should be as ready as we can be. It is possible that the wither has despawned. I'm going to hope for the best. Although the best, I mean, I'm not going to lie, it's it's looking slim for us. And not many hopes here. Oh, did you despawn? Oh, you didn't despawn. Are you kidding me? Nice. All right. I mean, I'm as ready as we're going to get, really. So uh, let's do it. Let us do it. A wither. Where are you, buddy? There you are. It's time to get this guy. Oh, boy. And I'm in a hole. It seems like wherever the green plus ones are is where the wither is, but it is very hard to see still. This is actually completely ridiculous. If I could find a cave opening, that would make doing this uh, a little bit more possible. Is there any cave? And here we go. Cave. Okay, golden apple. Are you... Dude, no, I don't want to deal with you right now. Are you kidding me? Jeez, man. Okay. A wither. It left. Oh, boy. Where is it going? Buddy, come here. Okay. Okay. Into the cave we go. Now he's going to try shooting us. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's so hard to hit it, man. It's so hard to hit it. This is about as well as we're going to do. And I'm not giving up now. I'm not giving up. I'm going to do this fight. I don't care. Oh, maybe I should care, though. It's getting so many direct hits on me, man. I cannot see. Okay, I mean, I hit it a few times. I mean, it's literally, I'm just playing in pitch black. Like, I don't, I don't know what's happening anymore. Dude, this is the most insane wither ever. Okay, I end up the away. Hold on, where is it, though? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's this way. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, wait, I have a small idea. There's a village over here Not right now. There's a bunch of mobs around us now. So it's possible it'll, it'll get a bit distracted. Maybe. And I don't care about the village. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Holy moly, dude. Okay, I'm trying. I think it is getting a little bit distracted. It's not distracted enough, man. I'm not I'm not going to back out of this fight. I'm sorry. I, I don't care. I can't be bothered. Oh, my God. That's my totem of a dying gone. It's not looking good. I have mining fatigue. Can I shoot it from here? Well, hold on. Hold on. I'm getting it into its melee form. It's just about at half. It's at half. Oh my God. It just, okay. Okay. All right. That's great. That's, that's wonderful. 